Alright, someone say the thing. Someone say the thing. Oh, wait, uh, the intro. What's up, nutters? Welcome to the Among Us podcast. Wait, no. It's wrong nope. podcast. <laughs> wrong, wrong <laughs> one. <laughs> the FNAF podcast. The, fin- the Five Nights at Freddy's podcast. Welcome. And uh, today we have special guest, Uncle Dane, um, along with uh, Great Blue, The What, Zenith, and Cyber Wizard, me. Hi, Cyber Wizard. Hello. Yeah, it's me and Uncle Dane. What's up? Are you a real uncle? Like, what's the story behind your Yeah, yeah. My my sister gave birth to two children in the last couple years, so I just kind of recently became an uncle. But when I made the name, I wasn't an uncle. It was just a joke. Is your name actually Dane, though? Yeah, yeah. My first name is Dane. Not short for anything. It's just D-A-N-E. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you are Uncle Dane. Wow. I am literally Uncle Dane now. <laughs> so do they call you Uncle Dane? The they do. They I, like? I am actually called Uncle Dane, and they've never even, I don't even think they have s- s- know about the, my videos. So That's well, actually, they, that's like awesome. Three, oh. so. Three years old. So when they grow they up and they do? find out, uh, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what a three-year-old thinks anyone does. I don't know if three-year-olds are aware of the oh, concept of jobs. Oh, three years old. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, that's fair. Three and, like, one, I think. I, I think we got a... Introduce him to jobs early. Make him work. Yeah. <laughs> Get him going. <laughs> I think it'd be really funny if you uh, if they come up to you and they're like, oh my god, it's Uncle Dane. And then the theme song starts playing. Yeah, that would be really confused How did you get that. that theme song, by the way? <laughs> um, so, uh, I don't know if you guys are, remember Dapper Dog. He was mm. a uh, TF2 YouTuber. He did mostly, like, um, parody songs and, like, his own kind of... Uh, <laughs> custom music and stuff like that i don't know um mm. also he did like drawings called uh called the videos flock draw they're pretty entertaining like he's a funny guy um he just hasn't made videos in a long time but anyway he used to work on music and i really liked his music a lot because uh, he used a lot of the same kind of sound fonts that tf2 music has mm. um yeah. and uh, he made one he made a song called uh, in ineo mora cones which is like or Neo more cones or I don't remember the name of the song but um, it was basically like what you hear in the uh, Uncle Dane theme song but it was like a rough edit and he had posted it on a SoundCloud and I was like this sounds awesome like can you make a full version and also like can I use it if you do <laughs> and he's like sure mm-hmm. and so that's where it came from yeah, I'm looking right now mm-hmm. it, the title is Frontier Justice Uncle Dane theme song so What's not yeah, originally the title of the song is Frontier Justice, um, but if you look in the description, well, I don't know if it used to say this, but uh, it originally was called oh, yeah. Inu Mora Cones or something like that. Should I say so it how now? far were you into your channel when you actually started using that song? Because it feels like every single video has that. Oh, I must have made probably like five or six videos at that point. Like, uh, I think it... So at, really early on. Yeah, yeah, really, really early on. I was like, I definitely want to have like an intro... Because I've always liked that about YouTube videos. Uh, like it's kind of like an old-fashioned way to do videos now, mm. but uh, I I kind of like it because it just has that nostalgic feeling to it. No, and yeah, I like think it, that. Yeah, yeah. Even on your more recent videos, it just feels like classic Uncle Dane nostalgia, right? Exactly. Yeah, mm. yeah. I love the ways how you edit it, so it's different every time. Well, I try and make it so that most of the time it's normal, so that when it is different, it is funnier because <laughs> if it's different every time yeah. then it, it will, the joke kind of wears off so i'd say probably yeah. like 25 percent of the time it's different yeah it's kind of like simpsons couch gag in that sense <laughs> right <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> like in the two two communities it's kind of iconic like the couch gag. right right yeah that's a good way to put it i like to i like that comparison yeah i'm about as important to pop culture as the simpsons is yeah really you are the, yeah, they will the never level. ever be another youtuber like uncle dane that's gonna be a video <laughs> yeah <laughs> they should I mean, reach who, out who to does you for those? a collab who to does those fair, videos? I've seen those. Broken oh, my f- out our of favorite the, uh, YouTuber. TF2 community into the drama community when you shot Keemstar with a shotgun. Were you there? Were you <laughs> actually there for that recording, or did you just do the music? No, no, no. That was just, I think the music video was just Ian and Jordan and uh, Clay out in the desert oh, shooting Rad shotguns. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, Rajor. Um, I wasn't there, though. I, I, I made that song as a joke to between us like i didn't really think anyone would hear it besides them i because at the time <laughs> that he was making uh that keemstar video like the reason why he made it is because keemstar was kind of like an inside joke between our friend group to start out with and then eventually he just kind of coalesced it into an actual video um so I made that as a joke, and then he, I showed it to him, and then he showed it to Max Mofo, and then Max Mofo convinced him to put it in the video, and 
he asked me if it was okay. I said it was okay. So yeah, that's how that happened. <laughs> I was assuming that like, cause some of the things in that video is a little bit, like risque. So it's kind of just like, I can what, see like it. him shooting. <laughs> well, uh, like in the song, shooting some of the, some of the lyrics of... is like, eh, you know, it was a different time on YouTube. I mean, if you're refer- reference to when I, I said the N word, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> then yeah, I suppose so. I don't remember what else I said in that song. People always bring that up, though. But I mean, I mean, it was uh, funny <laughs> to rhyme it with uh, whatever I rhymed it with. I think, and I think also, bigger. I don't. I, it's not like I was using it. I don't know. I was gonna the, say there was Arkansas. other yeah. a criticism oh, no, yeah. on someone who did say it. It's like I don't know why yeah, people. I don't really have a, about that. I don't really have a problem with it. And you're right. It was. It, I, it's not something I would do now. I wouldn't. I honestly feel kind of uncomfortable saying it now, just because it, it's just a different time. Like, <laughs> it's it's kind of. Uh, really switched gears as far as like what's appropriate to say and what's mm. not and i'm fine yeah. with that like i don't have a problem with it at all but it was recorded back in like 2015 2014 or something like that mm. so yeah uh, i'm not the type to be like oh you can't joke about anything nowadays but i sometimes i do kind of miss the fact that i kind of missed the boat back when you know you could make edgier jokes and get away with it not like screaming the n-word but you know just that yeah. that, that, that kind of humor that you can't really really do anymore. I you know. know? I I, I'm to, sad I wasn't on you YouTube can still when you were do like it. a cyber bully I mean, children. Yeah. You can. Living. You can do it. I, mean, <laughs> I think that people are just more sensitive to like context, which is a good thing. I think that it's yeah. good that people mm. are uh, like before. Like I feel like you could say uh, say anything really. Oh yeah. And not really have a purpose behind it, and people would find it funny. But now I don't think it's really that funny to say it with no purpose. I yeah. Oh yeah. You have I've to always have been a like, reason. Yeah, if anything is in good taste, nothing should be off limits. I'm not, like, trying to say, like, oh, yeah, you can just totally be making, like, tasteless jokes, you know? I think it's less of, like, a conversation of, like, censorship or, like, um, or, I don't know, like, PC culture or whatever. And it's more of, like, a a thing of just humor has changed. Like, just humor is just different now, which is, like, normal. Like, Mm. humor. Yeah. Think about humor now compared to humor in like 2009 like p- people looked at nine guy nine gag and thought like annoying orange was funny like that <laughs> shit wouldn't fly now are, are, are you it? saying that annoying orange is, is, it, is, not it, funny? Funny is it not funny no <laughs> what you don't like annoying Excuse orange me? all right well normally we don't do this but we can kick guests off the show <laughs> <laughs> thank oh, you guys sorry, for watching sorry. annoying orange is very funny i like when he screams and and says like hey apple and stuff that's really thank funny. you apple. Okay, yeah, good. there you go just making sure all right save, remember save. remember the uh, annoying orange tv show with tabuscus i try not <laughs> to <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be great i would love to talk to dane bow and be like hey you, you and i have s- similar names <laughs> isn't that cool <laughs> actually um you know, do you guys remember when um, YouTube comments were a thing, like where you could uh, leave comments on people's channels? Yes. Like I think you. Oh, can, yeah. that, that was the community tab, right? The it was like before tab? the community yeah. tab. It was like I a, don't even know what it was called. It was just like you could leave comments on people's entire channels. <laughs> like it's a weird concept oh, it was now, called but discussion. It, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. They, they. But I think it's completely gone now. No. Um, yeah. They replaced it with community tab. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, I don't know if you can access old posts, but Danebo, uh, on his normal channel, actually commented on my channel saying, hey, we have the same name. I'm not even joking. That's real. Wait, oh, I don't even know why he did that or how he found me. <laughs> it was really scary. <laughs> well, now I feel like you're pretty well known even like outside of like the TF2 community now. Right. right. Well, it's I, I, I have been lucky in like kind of the circles that I've been in. Uh, part of it because of uh, uh, Ian, iDubs, but also mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. a part of it because... Um, I don't know. I think uh, early on, I I became like kind of friends with people who were on the up and up, whether I knew it or not. And then when they got there, it was like, oh, uh, like they kind of take me with it, and I get to meet people, and it's just like this branching thing. I feel like it's like a win more situation where if you can get in, like with one person who is in that circle, then it's just kind of like I don't know spirals from there yeah. in a weird way so i don't know i feel like i i end up in other people's videos whether i realize it or not <laughs> a lot of the time That's uh, it. it's really funny because i'm like in the same boat here where i just like became friends with people and now all of a sudden they're doing really well on youtube i'm like oh yeah oh it's cool a, it's a cool position to be in if you're trying to make a career out of it but if you're not trying to make a career out of it then probably doesn't matter that much i guess mm-hmm. yeah did you like uh did you go out of your way to like meet these people or was it just kind of accidental it was all accidental. Like, I met Ian because, well, I did watch his channel 
when he had like less than a hundred thousand subscribers there was a point where i had more subscribers than him and i was talking to him like hey man i like your channel and stuff. talking down to him like oh hey <laughs> buddy crazy. Hey, uh, yeah, the guy. <laughs> and I invited him to come and talk on my Skype call. This is how long ago this was. People use Skype. So, like, uh, that's just how I, I met Ian. And then he, I don't know how he met Max Mofo and Filthy Frank and stuff, but then he blew up and then, like, he introduced me to a bunch of people that he knew through that, like uh, Dunky. And so now I'm friends with him and, and his wife and that, that whole group of people as well. And, and it's great. I mean, like, <laughs> it's really weird. Uh, also, like, uh, Ian knows H3H3 H3, Ethan, and he got me, a, like, a job editing a video for him as well. Uh-huh. So it's like uh, it, you get into all these weird situations where it's like H3H3, H3, like, I loved watching his videos when he was making, like, reaction content and stuff, like, back in, like, 2016. Yeah. And I love I loved watching Dunkey's videos ever since I subscribed to him back in, like, 20. 20- 11 or something his <laughs> so, like top so, fives where he's like super mario brothers 2 yeah exactly or or like <laughs> his league videos i didn't even play league or n- know what was going on but i thought he was very funny <laughs> or any of the videos where he was like um playing with sky williams and stuff like that um so yeah it's just this weird situation where it's like the people who uh i've um i've watched for so so many years and uh, like talking to or becoming friends with just through this uh web and it's not even it's not even like i meant to be here but it's cool that that's a really lot cool. of lightning in a bottle connections uh yeah. you're able to make early on that's insane that you have uh, that many connections to like huge names yeah people always point it out to me and i don't even understand how it happened but it's uh it is something that when you back up and look at it it does make sense that it is strange mm. what video were you editing for for h3 uh, I can be credited with killing H3H3's main channel, by the way. Um, oh, boy. Because <laughs> it, <laughs> it's the last video. It's just go to his channel. It's the last video that was uploaded. Was it Everybody Hates Me? <laughs> was that it? No, no, no. Wait, H3. Uh, I don't, uh, was it the one where he was a Justin Roiland? No, I think all of those videos are on his uh, Oh, Becoming the channel. Zuck? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's, I, you edited the thing, this? I... Yes, I came up with the idea for the video. I pitched to Ian. I was like, you should do this. I think it would be very funny because that Mark Zuckerberg photo was making the rounds, and I was like, you should just rec- try and recreate that photo as best you can. Yeah. Get an e-foil, go out on the like lake or something, and try and recreate it. And he's like, that's a good idea, but I think it would be funny to do it with somebody. And I was like, uh, okay, cool. Do it with Ethan. He's like, ah, that's a good idea because Ethan's fat and it would be funny. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then he was like, okay, well, if you edit it, then – We'll put it on Ethan's channel because I think it would just be better there. And I was like, okay. So Ethan paid me to edit that. <laughs> That's cool. So, yeah, you, there you are right in the description. Uh, you killed h 3 h 3s channel. How does that make I, you feel? Hopefully <laughs> Makes good. me feel sad because, honestly, I, like his, I liked his older videos oh, yeah. more than the podcast he's doing now. Although I did listen to his podcast for quite a while, but mm. it's kind of, like, worn out for me. All right, Space um, Guy has a quick question. I don't know. I was a big fan of the H three H three when they added them into Payday two, where you can smoke a vape. And <laughs> that was a really great update that they added. What? I never, yeah, uh, they're apparently important. playable characters in Payday. Oh, I, I've never played I don't it, know so why. I don't, I don't know anything about. Yeah, it. no, it was for the, uh, the lawyer fund. They, they were like uh, raising money to uh, to combat copyright yeah. abuse, like that whole thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every I, time, uh, uh, every time Payday two adds a new character, they get like a special like perk for them, right? Mm. And their perk is literally just smoking a vape. Like that, that's a, that's not a joke. <laughs> That's what it is. I, That's what it I is. I have 930 hours in Payday 2. At least 800 of that is probably playing as Ethan and Eula. Smoking of eight. <laughs> Smoking of <laughs> You know, it's good that you have connections around the block, but do you have the right connections, you know? Because I was thinking out here that a McDonald's employee that I don't know by name just said, do you want a free chicken McFillet? You know, not a chicken McFillet. Sorry, a McFillet. That's the fish thing they serve. Filet. Yeah, the McFillet. <laughs> Filet. <laughs> yeah. the Filet. McFillet. It's French. It's French. Yeah. Would you ever even consider eating seafood from McDonald's, though? Because I certainly wouldn't. That's, that's my I would, discussion. and I have, that's and I will. Mean, if they cook it. Like, it's not sushi, <laughs> right? Ooh, maybe, like, Japanese McDonald's making sushi. It's not Gas as bad as it sushi. sounds, to be honest. I mean, you should give uh, it a try at least once. Pretty fucking It's horrendous. really bland, I had my a, experience. The McFillet. When Subway had when Subway had like the lobster subs, I jumped on that ban- <laughs> bandwagon. I did that. Yeah. But Damn. isn't that like but fresh I'm, like, a lobster? Big fan of lobster? No. 
it's not <laughs> wait is it real lobster yeah probably not oh, i was gonna say i was like <laughs> i would make sense it's probably one fake. of those it's probably one it's probably one of those it is real lobster but just don't go looking at the back oh, apparently the there was this really big I mean. like thing where a lot of restaurants instead of serving calamari they were serving uh pig dick Oh, yeah, I and nobody that. knew because it, it's really hard to tell. Apparently, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, like when you have when you have like Lester B. Pearson, like accountant forty nine, whitest man there is, you go into the sushi place. Like that looks like calamari. I've seen somebody eat that before. That's <laughs> exotic. He's not gonna know the difference. Of course That's not. True. I mean, Subway definitely might up. have had fake lobster. I mean, they they had fake bread. I mean. Yeah. Right? They had, they had a How fake spoke fake person bread? too. I was say, Suck faking I don't know. bread sounds harder than just making real bread. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. told that the 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 subway bread has like um uh has like rubber mat uh material in it or something. What? That's not what? even got the, it's it's got the rubber. Ma- <laughs> like the, it has like this it has the same kind of material that yoga mats have. You can look that it's up, the, I'm pretty sure that's uh, true. Rubber bread. It's got the chicken McNugget pink <laughs> goop as well. Here's the thing. They've never made rubber mats taste so good, so I'm just gonna keep eating it. It's like when people said that the the taco meat and Taco Bell wasn't like real beef, and I'm like, I don't care. It yeah, tastes good, good, man. Why the fuck? <laughs> I'm not Are you going, going there for Taco like, Bell for like. Food. Yeah, you go in there for. T- <laughs> who goes to Taco Bell for quality food? Like, you already know you're getting. A you know what you're getting. You know what you're signing yeah. up for. Yeah. You go there because the you're only thing people. Dry. You only go in yeah. the Taco Bell to get like Baja Blast Mountain Dew. That's it. That's the only thing you really right. want to get. They from sell there. Baja Blast other places now, though, don't they? Not but it's anymore. not the same. Yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> I mean, Churros I saw Baja Blast the other really day good. at a gas station. Maybe it's local. Is it local? Yeah, because I saw some Baja like gas a month food ago. St- sushi. I mean, if it's edible, I think it's like it a doesn't mythical hurt thing. you. Then like it doesn't. A lot of things, things are review. edible that don't hurt you. you know? say you can like just dirt. eat a tree. You can just eat like the bark <laughs> on pineapple. A tree. But that doesn't mean oh, I that want could, to. You can like splinters. Could technically do that. But I mean, like, yeah. if they make it, well, if they make it taste good, then like, what's the? That's like saying no that, like, oh, oh chilies... Baja Blast isn't edible because if you pour it into your eye, it hurts. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, you get that's like saying that, like, oh yeah, down your throat. Would you chew no, the saying, food? Like, chili peppers well, then you are get edible, in your but because teeth. they're spicy on your tongue, they're not in edible. Your teeth? They're like you know I mean? because you chew the tree bark. The, well, you, your teeth are right. harder than the splinters. They're not going to go into no, your, your teeth. Your what are you guys talking like, about? They, it'll go into your gums. <laughs> they're talking about Cyber's George Washington. trying to make you, the point that teeth, anything no, is edible eat, as long as it doesn't you, hurt you. And then he made the point that you can't eat tree bark because it might hurt if you're handling it and you get splinters. Like, what does that mean? No, you would get splinters in your gums from eating tree bark. I see only one solution Just to this. Better. Cyber, go outside, grab some tree bark, eat it. Yeah, Take let us bite. know the result. Take a nice bite. <laughs> <laughs> Tell I, us think, how it goes. I think, no, there's an argument to be made about eating birch, because birch is like a legitimate flavor of Dr. Pepper, is it not? Wait, like there's birch, birch flavored It's like yeah. essence People of birch for Dr. Pepper. They're not just pouring tree yeah. bark in the Dr. Pepper. It's like extract. <laughs> right, you space. don't know that. There's can 23 space, flavors. One of them could yeah. be tree. <laughs> can we go? Okay, what's everybody's favorite pop? Let's go around the room right now. Favorite what? Mine's root beer. Pop. Soda. Oh, yeah. Soda. Fucking Soda. American. Oh, Sorry. Oh, yeah, Soda. Soda. Let me, let me go down oh, the highway pop? and get into a car crash. Grandpa. That's crazy. Uh, and go ahead and not be able to afford insurance when I get into a car crash on the Space guy, freeway. space guy, be talking to Mounties. <laughs> yeah. say, At least they don't run down by the CMPs, horse cops. Eh? Was your trying to invade the Yukon for oil? Somebody wanted me to speak French, and I said, I don't speak French. They said, but you live close to Quebec. I'm like, that's not fucking French. There's like a stark difference. They hate us, by the way. <laughs> Quebec? Quebec? If, I ever see a Quebec, if I ever see a Quebec person in my life, bro, oh, God. Uh-oh. It's not racist. They're part of the same country. <laughs> <laughs> it's not racist. They're part of the same country. They don't want to be part of the same country, They don't want to be part of the same country, though. specific instance in the United States where that yeah. doesn't check out. <laughs> I like yeah. root beer. They don't want to be part of I it. Like I like Pepsi. Root Pepsi's beer. pretty good. What? Dr. Pepper. Amen. Way to go. Why do they I'm call with, it cola? I'm with Great Blue on this. Uh, Dr. Pepper is probably my favorite. Okay, what what type of uh, root beer, though? Because there's many Barks, different types. Barks, the best one. Barks, agree. No, uh, you're not a mug. mug. You're not a mugger. Mug my, is like second My place. mind is mug, telling me A&W, kind of but my heart is telling me mug. <laughs> and your okay. your okay. brain should be telling you bark. Blue, do you have something with tree bark? No, it's like bark with a Q, like the root beer. Yeah, yeah, but I like, think do, I... you, do you have something with bark related things? What? What are you, you like talking about? Bark yes, I, I like go out bark? and you... rip the bark off of trees, lick all of the you ants. You like the root beer bark? 
<laughs> like, what do you say? Great blue. <laughs> great blue. They they always say this about you. I've always looking in your comment section. People are always saying this about you that your bark is is worse than your bite is what they keep saying. What yeah. what do they mean they by that? They say that a lot. Well, because of the weapon he keeps eating right. tree bark. I, I, apparently, yeah, I keep eating tree bark. According to Cyber, I'm addicted to like. <laughs> I was on Reddit. <laughs> you were arguing that it'd be TF2. fine to eat it. Oh god. I was on R slash TF2, and there was a, a post with 2,000 upvotes that said that <laughs> Great Blue's tr uh, tree bark is greater than his oh, tree bark. Oh god, bite. I thought it was going to be a completely <laughs> different post. Uh, oh my god. I, <laughs> what? Okay, no, yeah, we, can't say say it. we just can't say it. Im important question, Uncle Dane. Um, All right. No. Have you seen uh, TF2? What if free skins oh, were different? No. Oh, good. That's good. What if what? Yeah, what if free skins were different? Have you seen weapon reskins? I, uh, yeah, I've seen them. You don't. You I don't have you to mention you know, like like Cyber video, mentioned that like it was a racial question. I don't like that. Channel. Oh no, I haven't seen that one. Oh, you should watch. The I first just watched five the one seconds. that he put out today, the Great Blue. I was actually I was in the middle of leaving a comment, <laughs> and then I, you ever have this moment where you're in the middle of leaving a comment, and then and then you're like, why am I leaving this comment? <laughs> you delete it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. I do that uh, today, literally on your video today, Great Blue. What I wanted I to say is that like engineer. That. I think that if you had pistol and the uh, short circuit, I think that. Uh, that would probably be a good combo because pistol has a lot of ammo and you can just like be a medium range demon. But that's Ooh, just I guess me. that's true. So you can you can leave comments on my videos seeing the little like notification on my phone that oh hey a YouTuber bigger than you commented. That's like that gives me dopamine. So you're allowed to. Oh okay. Uh, well, it wasn't cuz I wasn't allowed to. It's just that halfway through I was like this comment is it's doesn't mean anything. His comment was like really negative. But I'm glad at like, least I could have said it to you in person. Idiot. That actually yeah. gives me more. That gives me more uh, satisfaction. I think I have the same thing where I like I will reply to like a comment that's like, "Oh, you missed this." I'm like, "No, I didn't. It's in the video. <laughs> you watch it again." And then I have to like hold myself off because I know I'm gonna just go to this guy's house and like probably beat him up or something like that. I just it's not dox really him. Really. <laughs> yeah. He's like, uh, "Actually, you missed this." I'm like, "No, you're not. No, I didn't." One nine two firecrest, go there right now, everybody, please. <laughs> I really, I really, um, um, I, I, I really think that a uh, blues video is really good because I thought if like you have different wrenches, it would be really great. Because you always talk about mixing the jag with the so urethra cool. effect, right? That would be cool. Oh, you're you're saying that I that was yeah, my like that's idea? Like, it's like yeah, you can mix them yeah. together. It makes it easier mixing the jag with the urethra effect. Yeah, the jag. Roll oh where yeah, you use yeah. the urethra effect with the jag. Yeah. Well, if you go back to spawn with the urethra effect and then you switch <laughs> to the jag, yeah, it's really effective. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. really, it's, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really stimulating too, isn't it? Right? Yeah, <laughs> I love putting the urethra. Yeah. By the way, some places. <laughs> okay, no, that's uh, so by the way, I'm, on I'm, the I'm, nose. I'm sorry, this is before the recording started. Uh, I had a bit of sounding issues earlier. What the fuck? Yeah. No, he knows. He knows. <laughs> he knows. Great. He knows. Great. He knows. He knows. I thought it was a Great. surprise. What? <laughs> Great. I'm kind of upset you said it, because I wasn't being <laughs> flocked by the comments yet, but now that I'm part of this, I will be, you know? Now I'm, like, in on it. I was, my saving grace is that people thought I hated milk, so I caught comments on that, but I'm going to get the uh, You're going to get a harassed by our now. audience now, like, yeah. did. Oh, I can't so, say so that. Dane, um, yeah. how, how, were you aware of our uh, podcast? Have you seen any of our other work uh, mm -mm. in the past? No. All right, all right. I was made aware of the podcast when Cyber Wizard messaged me and said if I wanted to be on it. Yeah, but did you do like a yeah. background check at all? No, no. Okay. I didn't. I didn't know that Zines was going to be here. I, oh, I, I didn't because I've already met him before. I, I said I could tap him, out. So I, I wanted El Maxo to be on here, but he's like, "Oh, go look my video." No, no, I'm not saying. I, I'm not saying I didn't know Zines was going to be here, and it really kind of pissed me off a little bit. Yeah, so I was saying, like, I don't want to talk to this guy. I hate him. He has drama with everyone no, no. in the community. For real, I probably would have. I probably would have taken here. mental note of that, but I, I literally made note of that when I joined this mm. call. Look, there are three yeah. people yeah. that I hate. Of, uh, there are three people I hate. I hate Emp Lemon, Uncle Dane, and the other guy that's name I can't say. Oh, Emp Lemon, that's the Check. that's the guy who made those videos. Yeah, okay. fuck him. Yeah, check this out, Dane. Oh, I think you're gonna want to see this. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to see this. Make sure to edit this on screen. <laughs> this is important. Okay. More. We uh, we 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 have beef with Emp Lemon. All right, play it on screen and I'll react to it. Yeah. Okay. It's in general chat as well yeah, if you want to look tweet. at it. Yeah, it's just a tweet. Oh, it's a tweet? Oh, I thought you were just going to edit it in and I had to, like, make up a reaction. Whoa! Yeah, oh, no. No. Whoa, dude! <laughs> crazy! Whoa! Oh, Emplemon, like, uh, got mad at your video where you were, like, talking about... <laughs> what so he called him. him. Yeah, because I was yeah. right. He got mad I didn't mad even know that this guy played TF2. What the heck? Why is he mad? Because he's a this little bit. This is, like, bitch. the first time he's acknowledged TF2. He's actually, like... shitting on Zenith. He's actually molding. Like, does this guy actually usually 
I, I don't know very much I, about him. Does he, he actually um, usually I get this pissed off? I saw one no, tweet no, about I Sniper before this where he's like, I fucking hate the Sniper, it's so annoying, and I just said, get good. But I didn't think he saw it, because dude has a million <laughs> subscribers on YouTube. Oh, oh no, that, that changes things, because that means that you were the aggressor yeah. now. I was the you aggressor like this months reaction. ago. This yeah, this is, is like when the fucking video came out. He remembers. No, it's yeah. not. <laughs> He doesn't. He didn't You'll see never it. Never forget your first. I think Jaybird even responded. Yeah, I think even Jaybird responded. Even Jaybird? No, to the first one, not not the not this one. No one cares about this one because no one no one likes me. Uh, eight uh, eight thousand people like it. Yeah. Yeah, they're like you know shitting the on four thousand. You pimple face cocky that two were just oh shitting God. on Zenith. Like, didn't you just wake up one day, Zenith, and you just had a bunch of like I death threats in your yeah, Twitter like, feed or whatever? I got, destroyed. <laughs> I got destroyed. I had to uninstall Twitter for a day. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> For a whole day, for a yeah. day, for a whole day, it was yeah, like my damn, addiction dude. was in being satiated. Wow. <laughs> damn, shoot, were you on the floor in the fetal position? I was yeah. a whole day I of actually, peace in mind. It felt like when you take a metal rod and you <laughs> okay, you know, I'm, I'm step, oh, so I'm really good. Okay. Right there. All right, great. <laughs> I have Tremendous. an account uh, on Twitter, but I don't use it because uh, the only reason I made one, I just made it through the like use like sign in through Google thing because mm. Twitter is really dumb and that doesn't let you read comments on tweets without signing in yeah and oh yeah like oh, if you, you ever si yeah. you ever log in when, or if you ever look at twitter when you're not logged in and if you scroll you ever down, want to look yeah. at that there are some people says you have to log in now. there's some people i have blocked yeah. but yep. i still want to see what they're saying you know so like i go on a i have to make an alt because i i wanted to go a burner on account yeah i have to because i, I want to see what they're saying you know I'm, I'm and you always like make tweets like uh, I am a I'm an honest American and i think that trump is doing <laughs> yeah. I, said, job. I said i think the erection was lit rigged <laughs> The erection. The, uh, er the erection. You had two. You had two Freudian uh, slips there in the same sentence. The <laughs> no, the one of them was deliberate. One of them was deliberate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say which one, but one yeah, was. Yep. Vote now. I. Yeah. <laughs> I think the real solution is to just not have Twitter like at all. Yeah. For any it's actually reason. been quite nice. I've I haven't had it for a year, and honestly, I don't miss it and never i never i never thought that i would like not care as much as i did but it's like uh it, it I, I maybe felt bad about it for a week and then after that it was fine retweet uh zenith's pimple face what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> no you comment on it and you say you're yeah. wrong emp lemon you're you're terrible we should invite emp lemon do you have uh, connections with emp lemon dane <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I, I just his videos get podcast. recommended to me, and I don't. Well, all right, That's thank like you for watching. I, I guess this is a waste of time. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of Twitter, actually, real quick, uh, Uncle Dan, how did you find the? Did Did you hear about like you the whole it? safety of two thing? Like, were you actually like? I, uh, I <laughs> here's the thing, and I it sucks that I don't have a Twitter for this reason because it would be nice to kind of get like you know uh, to clarify things in mass, but um, I don't have that power anymore. So now it's like I, people just make assumptions about me and that was like the one time where i was just like ah, i wish people wouldn't assume that like i didn't participate Your in that because i didn't like Pepsi. the movement or i like was against it mm. it's just that i found out about it like literally the day before they were going to do it and i didn't have anything prepared and i didn't really want to scramble to do anything when i didn't even know anything about it you know what oh, i mean yeah. like I, I was just kind of like out of the loop for the longest time and then at the last second somebody who wasn't even involved in it asked if i was going to be involved in it and i was like mm. uh, <laughs> no i remember <laughs> like discord i think everyone just didn't message you because they just uh you they you assumed busy. that you didn't have twitter the, another they always another problem assume with, that yeah. i'm too busy or like i'm too big to like respond but that's not true so mm. another so everybody go and it. message uncle dane in discord Guys, right now dms are open <laughs> like, anybody can message me there's a guy oh, who literally messages me like four things every single day i don't know why he does it i've never responded isn't there somebody he's outside like, your house uh, he's messaged you for like years every day or something and he yeah he's responded. that's the guy he still does it he still I, does he he, I think he just uses me. Maybe my chat with him. I, this is my theory. I think maybe my chat with him is like a place for him to like um, copy and paste things that he wants to save for later because it's all not related to me at all. It's just kind of like he sends me I got random pictures and memes and like links to videos. <laughs> he just sends you like a curiosity. Can we see one of them? Can we? Can we see the echo chamber? Sure. Let me see. Let me find it. What happens when this guy's like on his deathbed though, and like he asks for you to come? <laughs> like as a final send off. Uh, that'll, be, from that'll be the last thing I say to him. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, I, he sent me. <laughs> flatlines. <laughs> he sent me. Uh, 
a couple days ago, he sent me uh, this picture of, I'm assuming this maybe is his cat or something, where I put this guest chat. He sent me this picture of his cat <laughs> twice in a row. Like, it, it's like he accidentally double posted it. That's a nice um, cat. He also yeah. sent me a link to, um, like, uh, some fan art on r slash Kanye of my beautiful, twisted, dark fantasy, like, uh, <laughs> some sort of, uh, here, I'll link it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm hip and knowledgeable never, to know what yeah, that all meant. Yeah, it's like I've never actually <laughs> made it like obvious that I'm a fan of Kanye West. I've never like this is uh, this is very not related to me. But this is oh, the kind yeah, of thing that he'll put in our chat, and he puts things in there like almost every single day. Just respond so, once. What if he just never again? Just, like, cool. If he like sends you his grocery list, <laughs> yeah. just say, "Hey, don't forget to buy milk," and then never respond ever again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll what probably if, like, assume what if that I just... accidentally DM'd him instead of somebody else. What if you just, like, it just gets darker and darker, though? Like, he's like, haha, saw you today. You know what would uh -huh. be funny yeah. is if I, okay, so he has, like, stuff uh, linked to his Discord. This is the first time I'm actually looking into this. I should, like, not, probably should not dox him, but, ago. like, not dox him, but, like, find his, like, maybe his real name, and then <laughs> maybe just type his real name in, in chat, and then, like, delete it after, like, an hour. Wow, Daniel, that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, so it's um, doxing. <laughs> So, I would do so that. So you're gonna go out of your way to find his real name. I have done that. But I won't do anything him. bad. I just want to scare him a little. <laughs> Imagine he makes a video like yeah. Uncle Dane doxed me. <laughs> Uncle, <laughs> no, Uncle Dane. I got per Dane. I got personal experience. What you got to do is you just gotta say 15 days and then send a smiley face and oh, nothing yeah, else. Oh my oh, god. god. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they freaked the fuck no, out. No, space crazy. actually. He space joined a random Discord server. Like he didn't even know the guy at all. He just said 30 days or something. And then the guy actually got scared and tweeted about it and said that he was going to like, get called the police. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to do? I should just like, or just type type like a, did. a like a date that's like just kind of pretty soon, like maybe like uh, August fourteenth, twenty twenty two. I June I said fifteen days, and they were like coincidentally a very conservative people and i didn't know this but 15 days from that point was june 1st so like pride month gay <laughs> oh, you will become oh, gay all connected. I, I literally just said 15 days for the sake of saying 15 days like your time is running up but they took it like that and that's how space guy came out you ever seen that movie where yeah. the um the they show the the tape of that scary girl and then in seven uh, days the ring die. yes oh yeah <laughs> the ring yeah well there's the one called oh the, yeah the ring uh, well, yeah, there's one where if uh, you see uh, the tape and, like, it shows, like, a guy on there and he's doing a cool dance and it says, Damn. in seven days you will be gay and it's called the cock ring. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? Fuck. I believe this a, happens. Is that a this movie is true. or is that a, this like, is true. a parody? I believe this. Cyber, you it's haven't like, seen this movie? Conjuring? I thought you were gay. That's a pretty famous movie. It has, like, a 9.2 <laughs> yeah. on IMDb. Oh, I'm well, surprised you haven't. i to check it out then. Yeah, well, don't I, check I mean, it out I'm surprised. I it up, but like, oh, yeah. but wouldn't that be crazy? I will if check it out. That movie? That'll be kind of like crazy. That movie. Do you <laughs> yeah, I thought Cyber, you did watch that movie, considering the fact you are gay and all. But I guess Whoa. I was wrong. Sorry well, for assuming. That, is that like a yeah. barrier to entry? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of offensive what, no, space. Or... I think we should take a step back. <laughs> Frank is Ocean okay is selling if I, uh, gold. Is it okay if I use the Chuckle Nuts business card to make a business expense on the Frank Ocean diamond cock ring? Please just send the guy that article. Wait, that's Frank Ocean? Yeah. Or is this, a, or is this a joke? This is a, he looks like, I, this this isn't is a, a joke, it's Pitchfork. It looks like Justin Bieber. Can we talk about how... Frank Ocean. <laughs> Why does he have I don't know. This is a Pitchfork shit article, too. No, it's real. It's it's a real like, All music the, publication. I gotta send like, this to my friend who likes, they? who likes Frank Ocean. Dude, this is like a terrible a article, because all the info they have is they cost more than 25 grand. Like, I want details. I want size. I want... Yeah, what if you oh, I'm getting, know. I'm getting some I want to know just, more details. All they have is the price. Is the diamond <laughs> studding on the outside or the inside? Like that changes a lot. Yeah. Oh, it's on the girl. outside. I have a photo of it. <laughs> well, no, but does it does it like change depending on if it's like big or not? Yeah, I'm you, just saying. Like, can I use the business yeah. card? Oh my yeah. god! Can I? What the can, I can I use the American Damn. Express for this? Guys? Why can't it be a normal ring? Why does it have to be specified conquering? A seven hundred finger, finger that big? That's eighteen carat. That's eighteen fucking carat diamonds. What the hell? <laughs> you should El go into. You should, you should go into a. Uh, yeah, you've piqued his interest. Uh, the, you should go into like a uh, like a sex shop and just kind of stare at the wall of cock rings for like five minutes until someone walks over there and asks if you need any help, like. <laughs> and then, and then, really seriously, you gotta look at him and be like, "So, do you put these on your cock?" Or, yeah. <laughs> What's the process of this? <laughs> look a little big. 
I should can I, I should get, just can do that like to the most m- <laughs> I should just do that to like the most mundane objects too like just staring at like a poster like so what do you do with this like does it go in like do you like jam it in or like like what do you Sound do with this with thing? thing oh my god dress up yeah. as like a Mormon go into a sex shop and just start asking like really like embarrassed questions like oh do, what do you what do you put that on your penis like <laughs> I'll just like hold I'll just like show up straight after work <laughs> true word pants. So, Uncle Dame, what you gotta uh, do is you gotta go to that guy who's sending you DMs, send him right. a random sequence of numbers, and then coordinates to the middle of just a random field, and never talk to him again. <laughs> That's a good idea. There's a lot of options that I have yeah. to, like, really freak this guy out, because he's been have doing this for, like, a year and a half. Have you, like, planned I feel like another... Have you wanted to do something about it? Or no, no, with this guy? I, I, was, I was completely content with just letting it run its course, and maybe he'll give up someday. But now I do, I actually, now that I'm thinking more about it, I do think that he's not even really sending me messages, he's just using it as, like, a... <laughs> data storage? As, as a coping as a mechanism. As a data storage. <laughs> the Uncle Dane I have no you idea. Like, do you just, like, wake up and there's a new message me. every day, or what? Yeah, yeah. Well, not every day. Every other day, there seems to be like a new link in there or a new picture. <laughs> he probably talks to you more than his mother. This <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I, or his gr- it's possible that he just kind of, uh, you know, word vomits oh. or or picture vomits, like whatever he yeah. finds interesting, just to just a bunch of people it's to try and like, instigate something. If you stare into the abyss that is Uncle Dane's DMs, eventually the abyss will stare back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> then we, well, it's not about the money. It's about a, a message. We're trying a new segment where we because we made a Twitter. So mm-hmm. we did. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me. I don't know how to do this like formal. We, we made a tweet saying, "Hey guys, Dane's gonna be the podcast." You guys have any questions. questions to ask you? Yeah, we're gonna oh, okay. ask you a few questions. We may ask you a few things. Of course, we're gonna talk about like some. How know, many people replied? Um, a lot of two. them. Like, a lot of the, yeah. we had a lot of replies. Thirty-five oh, replies, but most of them are like, Sweet. "What's your favorite metal rod to shove down your penis?" Yeah, so yeah. I can't, yeah. I our fans have that, a bit of schizophrenia. It's kind of our thing. Yeah, actually, what, what, is, what is your favorite? Aluminum. Aluminum. Well, stop. Well, we can't ask that because well, what, it's malleable. Oh, he already gave us an answer. Because we have ruined so many guest lives. There's no favorite. You can't pick a favorite. Yeah. It is like picking okay. between my child, my children. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it, All right. What's yeah. the best? It's pretty easy to pick TF2 a favorite weapon? kid. What's the best TF2 weapon? To, the to sticky bomb down. launcher. Oh, yep. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can launch uh, a sticky bomb down your. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm yeah. a yeah. firm uh, Boston Boston <laughs> Basher <laughs> believer. <laughs> That's meta. I mean, this. Oh, the spikes on the end of the sticky bomb would actually. Yeah, that might be a slight problem. Oh yeah, you just shoot one sticky. That's the problem. But I don't know. I feel like people. But Here's the thing. Like, this might be TMI, e- but uh, I recently twice had, a, with it. I had a surgery where they had to remove a uh, like a uh, what do you call it? Like a kidney stone because it got yeah. stuck yeah. in oh. my uh, fallopian tube. Whatever the fuck it's called? Urethra. And yeah, uh, totally. Yes. Yeah, I, I, not you the re- urethra, but the one that goes from the bladder to the, uh, the your gallbladder. Kidney. I see. I see. I see. There was a stone yeah. stuck in there, and so I had to get it out. I had to go to the doctor, and they had to like put me under and, and stuff, and. Uh, in order to seal that, because it like, you know, it made a boo boo in there. Apparently, in order to seal that up, they have to put a string attached to like a tube, uh, that mm-hmm. can make it so that pee can go out correctly. Does that make sense? Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're imagining it inside. Okay. Yeah. So that meant that for about a I, week yeah. after that surgery, <laughs> I had a string attached to a tube inside of my body, mm-hmm. and the string was coming out of the end of my dick. And <laughs> they were like, later, they were like, okay, so in a week. Pull on the string and no. yank the tube out. No, Here's the thing. And I was like, Here's the why? Thing. I was like, yeah, it kinda, was like a Beyblade. I kind of want to laugh, but girls have to do this all the time with let tampons, it. do they not? So, Beyblade, let it it's a different experience when it's, a, when it's that big of an opening, I feel. It, yeah. you're right. So you've sounded in real life. But like reverse sounding. Oh, and I didn't want to do it. And it hurt, and I didn't like it. I was going to so say, in my mind, I'm like, why do people do this for fun? This is awful. Being out a kidney stone is basically just sound. But then you take you the metal it. rod, and you realize. <laughs> when you, like, walked out of the office, were the doctors, like, laughing to themselves? <laughs> no, of course not. The urologists, they probably do, like, 10 minutes <laughs> <just> a day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what if there's a urologist? No, they're, like, pointing at like, you, like, this, yeah. <laughs> wieners. <laughs> But, Listen, <laughs> that guy's Dane, I'm just saying. Dane, if I was your rod, like, I still would do that without a doubt. Years later, it's not old. That guy's yeah. a fucking rod in his dick. <laughs> it's yeah. hilarious. Idiot. He let me do it. He paid me to put it in there. What an idiot. Yeah. I mean, if I was a doctor, I'd do yeah. it. Professional sounder. Yeah. <laughs> you go on stage, like, oh, oh, God. What? It's a magician. Tremendous. Uh, Pull a magic wand out of All right, so this one's by, I don't know which one, if I should do the app. Oh, actually, actually, here. 
I have a question name. first, and I get priority because I'm actually on the you podcast. Have more subs. And this guy's lame. Um, so, <laughs> in you've been you've done YouTube since like 2014 ish, right? I'm the Uncle Dane channel, yeah. But I've been doing YouTube videos since like the site started. Oh wow! Okay. Wow. 1998. Um, <laughs> all, all back in 1993. Yeah, I started my channel. <laughs> wow. Yeah, 1864. Great I can't believe the 90s was 50 years ago. Um, Dude. But yeah, uh, I started Future's doing the wild. Uncle Dane channel yeah, in like 2014. I think was the first Uncle Dane video that was uploaded. So how in like the uh, in the time that you've done videos for Team Fortress 2, how is like the uh, the community online changed generally? I mean. Um, I started playing TF2 in, like, 2012, so, like, by TF2, like, old head standards, I'm actually kind of, like, not that old. Like, I was pretty new to the game. Like, the game was was already out for, like, five or six years when I started playing it. Um, so, as far as, like, how the community's changed overall in that time, it's hard to really put, like, a finger on it. I think that, honestly, there was there was a time where people would get like increasingly more and more pissed off that there was no updates and now i think wow, that everyone no everyone's uh, like appropriately gone through the, the like five stages of grief yeah. and we're we're now in the acceptance stage <laughs> where we're like yeah. yeah we're just never gonna get an update and yeah. then we're fine with it now but but like a good like five years ago people were not fine with waiting for like nine months for a major update like yeah. people were pissed off oh all yeah the time I remember it's people were complaining that Jungle Inferno too. took like eight months to come out for Meet Your Match. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, that is insane to me now. Thinking like, oh, this community would freak out if we got an update every like six months. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. Um, Even like yeah. small stuff, like the small patch notes, are still yeah, something people. Yeah, exactly. freak I mean, I'll see out people about. from like newer games complaining that their game didn't get an update one week. And it's like, yeah. dude. <laughs> oh my god! I saw a video. Five years ago, I saw something about Clash Royale, and the guy's like, "It's been two weeks since our since the last update. This game's dead." I'm like, "Shut the fuck <laughs> up!" <laughs> 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 oh it my is god. satisfying yeah. though to see that change because I've never really been like addicted to the update uh, cycle like a lot of people are. I think I think a lot of people are like spoiled by like a lot of modern games, but yeah. I'm a little older than most people who are playing. I think, and I think I'm I'm used to when a game comes out. That's just the game you get. Like there's no such thing as an update. Yeah, like, yeah. I take uh, so some. It was it was yeah. it was kind of like refreshing. I think to see a lot of those people who are just like, yeah, this game's gonna fucking die if they don't put an update in the next year. Um, mm. And uh, it hasn't. It's, in fact, it's been completely fine, yeah. uh, you know, even with the bot recently? thing. Yeah. So I mean, I w it, kind of like my suspicion was confirmed that like I don't know, this game doesn't really necessarily need updates to be flourishing or good. It's just kind of like mm -hmm. already good. And I'd say we're heading into like a bonus. We're heading to like a renaissance really of like TF2, especially when it comes to content. Yeah, I believe it too. I, I'm still holding out. I think that the, whoever they got working, uh, there was whatever intern they got like plugging away at the code uh i think that i think that they're doing a great job and i think that um they might have something up their sleeve of like okay once i get all these like bugs that have been building up over the last like three years taken care of big stuff i'll start i'll jump start like an actual update and get more people mm -hmm. on board because that's kind of how it works at valve apparently it's like if one guy starts something that's interesting and he's able to like wrangle people in there mm. then uh yeah. then it gets done but uh yeah, we'll without uh, without giving away like too much, I told somebody that knows the guy that I'd slip them twenty bucks if they uh, buff the hot hand, and I just want to <laughs> make it publicly known yeah. that that offer is still on the table. Okay, good, good. Twenty bucks. I was to <laughs> yours. I had heard uh, somebody told me that that uh, Tyler McVicker, who is always like a bashing of like really accurate um, like oh, yes. reporting of on things. Hmm. He totally. said that the guy yes. hates TF2 YouTubers. He he's like he hates Uncle Dane. He hates Soundsmith. <laughs> he hates Lazy Purple. I was like, why am I grouped in there? I doubt he even knows who I am. No. Like, the people yeah. who work at Valve I, don't care. And Tyler McVicker's never lied. I think what happened is that yeah, I think Tyler went ahead and asked, and he said, "Fuck you, Tyler McVicker. I hate you." He's like, <laughs> he just hates all TF2 YouTubers. I don't get it. Yeah, I think that that happened too. Uh, I think that he, yeah. I think he he heard that he hates. Uh, Tyler, because <laughs> yeah, because everybody at Valve hates Tyler, and yeah. he's like, oh, he must hate all TF2 YouTubers. He must hate Lazy Purple. 
But even I if he did, I'll I hate all you TF2 YouTubers. It's like I understand as well. It's like when people I realized, who are making yeah. speculative videos about the game that I work on every day is probably annoying. People ask me about you know? what yeah. if reskins were different. Like, oh my god, who cares? Yeah, how do you, how do you feel about the uh, <laughs> the new wave of TF2 YouTubers that are coming? That was in? the that was a tweet. I think they're cool. I, I like them. Oh, that's a tweet question. That was a tweet question. That, that actually, is a yeah, oh, is yeah. that yeah. a tweet All right, question? That's, that's, the, that's what I was gonna ask with the tweet question oh, by okay. La La Poo. So oh. I'll officially hey, hey, answer it then. I think that going back to the update drywall, I'm kind of glad about it because <laughs> I, no, I'll, no, no, I'm being serious. So drywall, no, no, I'm kind of no, no, no. dry. What are you talking yeah, the, about? Space? The drywall, the drywall, <laughs> the, the drywall. lack of updates. Let, uh, shut up. Let me just talk. Dry right? spell? Lack of the lack Super of updates, cell? right? Because I'm new. Me and the what are new to this, right? We haven't been in the YouTube game for long, so we're all playing yeah. kind of catch up, right? For people who have been making videos about the game I'm for a while, monster. and I'm kind of thankful about that because I have a lot of ideas I want to push out. But as soon as they make like release a major update, right, the floodgates open. Everybody's gonna be rushing to talk about the same thing over and over again, right? You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, uh, yeah. It is kind of difficult. I, I've always kind of been blessed with like, oh, I'm just the engineer guy, so I don't even have to really talk about the update necessarily. I can just talk about like what, yeah, how engineer is impacted, and that'll be my niche. And everybody else can kind of make the same like 20 minute video on the update where they just read yeah. the patch notes. But exactly. I, I, I feel a little like, a little exempt from that. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of I want to play I want to catch up to what I have for us before new stuff gets released and all right, that. Right, right. I mean, which I, don't I know think is an unpopular I, opinion. I, I, with how like because uh, to answer the question is like I I like a, a lot of the new TF2 YouTubers because they're uh, they've adapted to new YouTube, which is like uh, you know it's like uh, Great Blue made this video today where it's just like he, he came up with a concept and he went he went through all of the possible concepts it's like a theory crafting video like those kinds of videos like there's a million of those ideas i'm not that's not even an exaggeration mm -hmm. i'm sure there probably is literally a million of those kinds of ideas out there so it's like people don't have to uh make like gameplay videos they don't have to make like challenge videos they can just make concept videos and stuff like that i want to make it's interesting tf2 yeah. funny green text number 839 right now. <laughs> It's it's cool that uh, like a lot of TF2 videos can have like pain. crazy life uh, breathed into them by the algorithm because all you really need is like a good title and a good thumbnail and it'll get clicked by like people who don't even fucking play TF2. They're just like, oh yeah, yeah that's an interesting idea. Sure, I'll watch that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And these channels are like, they have like two thousand subscribers and their videos are getting like hundreds of thousands of views. It's insane. It's crazy, yeah. man. Yeah, it's great. Yes. I like it a lot. It's getting yeah, a lot like more people's eyes on Team Fortress 2 in general. That's why so I think. That's why I think with the with the rise of newer creators like El Maxo, Great Blue, The What, Space, uh, Uncle Dane, uh, the rise of those people, that new, it's yeah. giving it's giving like so many eyes onto TF2, and that's why I believe like we're heading into a sort of renaissance. Because well, I do believe that a large, in large part, like you'd think that TF2 would. Uh, suffer because of like the bot crisis that's been happening for two years but I think like to kind of counteract it in the last two years like YouTube's algorithm has kind of like been perfected in a weird way and um, mm -hmm. I think that TF2 videos just like are very easily promoted because um, the game is a video game but that's crazy to believe what? that it is a video game. No way. Uh, no fucking so, way. So, like, really? if you watch gaming videos, it'll it'll show up. It's also not necessarily a violent game, so it's not going to get flagged by, like, being too violent to show to kids. So it's it got, appears yeah, to kids Yeah, it's got the well. cartoon Yeah, the stuff, cartoony yeah. thing, like, it's almost like the perfect, like algorithm game. all rounder yeah. yeah and i didn't really think about that until it started happening so i think that a lot of, a lot of people who are playing tf2 honestly are probably just coming from the fact that they saw one or two tf2 videos recommended to them they clicked on them and say hey that looks like a pretty fun game i think oh it's free okay I, well then why not why not try it out this is just like overwatch this is <laughs> kind of like overwatch but like <laughs> Dude, the characters are like sexy. <laughs> what the? <laughs> 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 oh my god! Amen. Yeah, no, I think uh, I think TF2 has the potential to resurge in pop culture, kind of like Minecraft did. Um, it's a good yeah. enough game at its base. Uh. It's free. It has an art style that appeals to children, but also can be appreciated by like anyone. It has all of the ingredients there. I think if Valve even took one second to look at the game and gave it an update, it could very easily come back and probably hit record numbers which is still crazy considering how old it is what kind of update do you think though because there are so many different ways to go about it they they could update the like matchmaker to be better they could update like please. competitive mode to appeal to like the more competitive players they could I update mvm 
Like, uh, there's just so many different ways to go about it. I think that just a patch, like a Blue Moon style patch, wouldn't be enough. It would have to be a thematic thing mm -hmm. to get mm -hmm. a lot of people in. I feel like the TF2 community is one of the most creative, creatively driven ones, too. I mean, like, if even if you look on YouTube and you see the content being made for TF2 versus, like, any other game, yeah, you can really tell I... that there's a lot more effort that goes into a lot of these videos and a lot more passion in them than when you look at, like, I don't know... A, a Valorant video a, or something. Yeah, it's just yeah. gameplay or, like... I think yeah. I think the drought has also kind of helped produce that. Like you gotta really dig deep to do something interesting and mm. unique, right? Rather than like, oh, here's the new Valorant patch notes. Uh, we're nerfing Chamber. <laughs> the skin is really good. Uh, I mean, plus all the dude, tools that Valve crazy. has given to the community, because you got yeah. you got SFM with all of the mm. TF2 models just right at your disposal, and you've also had like the rise Quote of the GMod right scene, and TF2 is part of like default GMod, and mm. you see a rise in that too. I think TF2 are is just for TF2 content. Yeah. Valve has been so kind with the TF2 community to just make TF2 as a, like a sandbox of an IP that that's like why the community has gotten like so creative and you're seeing all these like massive labors of love as, as projects. Mm. And they're very, very stingy with their cease and desist and their uh, like copyright infringement crap, uh, especially compared to other video game companies like um, the Nintendo. Nintendo fuckers. <laughs> Fuckers. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's kind of opened the door for a lot of people to kind of like take those kinds of things and go crazy with it, you know. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I was not worried about, for instance, like selling shirts with my uh, engineer's image on it, or like I even made a shirt I think a while ago just called NG Main. It was just the text NG Main on it with like the engineer symbol. Like, I don't have the rights to that symbol, but I wasn't worried about it because Valve is just cool like that. They're just like, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. It's just a wrench. Yeah. And TF2 is so thing. unique with its <laughs> cosmetics and all this stuff where you can have your own sort of little character, quote unquote, where you just put some hats on yeah. on a character yeah. already made and that's your own creation. And it's yeah, crazy to think that they invented hat? that. Or cowboy yeah. Nobody ever remembers that. That's TF2 insane. is the first one to come up with the that concept, one. but now it's present mm -hmm. in literally every game. I remember people clowning on Valve about TF2. Like, yeah. oh, it's the hat <laughs> game. Just hat and now everyone oh, does yeah. it. Now everyone does yeah. it. It's yep. the standard. I mean, look at yeah. my official merch. Oh. I got a little selling that. I gotta get Great. that. Fuck. Tremendous. Yeah. <laughs> they just—they awesome. just, they just wait, don't care. Wait, that's official. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's the what official? <laughs> yeah, that's officially my merch. Yeah, that's a yeah from scumsuck.com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's your it's website. Official. Yeah, I also made I also made this one. This is one of our classics. Oh hell yeah! Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> All right. Is that your hand? Did you did you? That's uh, my yeah. for this. I'm, actually, I'm actually a hand model. Oh, I, okay. I'm, the, I'm the guy in all the pictures touching the mouse pads. I was about to. This is I was get them off. Uh, everybody go to scumsuck.com uh, to buy the What's products. Uh, support <laughs> the chuckle nuts. Thank you. Oh, here's another one. Uh, thank God. I was, I was hoping there oh, was more. Oh, that's the great blue one. <laughs> it's great blue. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I'm, I'm listening now. I didn't know there were There was a collaboration. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the yeah we had a crossover. Club. All right, Dane, we have another Twitter question by the Tommy Bear. There's two E's. The Tommy Bear. His name is, mm. what's your favorite video you've ever made? And do you think you'll be able to, you'll, do you think you'll ever be able to top it? My favorite video that I've ever made? On the Uncle um, Dane channel, assume, I'm presuming. Let me, let me look. <laughs> <laughs> it would probably be like the video that I made called Team Fortress 2 Funny Moments Part, and then I smashed the keyboard. With the Peter Griffin one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I, 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 I oh, like crap. it the most because it, I, I feel like it's probably just recency bias, but I mean, I think that it's funny, and I it is. worked hard to make it funny, and yeah, I don't know. Um, it's hard to, it's, it's honestly hard to pick a favorite one because I am so detached from that side of it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I don't watch my own videos as, uh, as like entertainment. So it's hard for me to decide, um, if which one I like the most. The one that I feel like okay, I'll I'll edit the question to give a better answer. That the one that I am probably the most proud of, maybe is um, the video called "The Panic Attack Is Good." Actually, just because That's I like the yeah. pacing of that video, mm. um, I think that I did. I think that's probably one of my more well edited videos. Yeah, I was gonna say the editing is really smooth on that one. It's the way it's all done. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so I'm pretty proud of how that turned out um, overall. 
The community yeah. really liked it too. If you go to the panic attack on the Steam community market and just sort by lifetime, you can you can see when you made the video. Yeah, yeah, I think that is interesting. Yeah, <laughs> um, that's cool. Felt like a soundsmith moment for me. Yeah, I kind of had a <laughs> soundsmith moment, moment yeah. of my own. Yeah, I I recently made a video on the syringe gun, and I looked at the Steam community market, and the price for the syringe gun has just slowly been going up, and I just kind of uh, oh, laughed at myself. <laughs> you bastard! I I keep I keep trying to get arrowed in pubs, and they never have them now. Yeah. Oh yeah! But what have you done? The what? When I made the uh, the rarest kill icon video that got like a million views, uh, I mentioned the what was it? The lumber kiss lid, the one that has the holy hand grenade, and then the price of that on the market went up from like one fifty to like seven fifty for like a couple weeks, which was crazy. Jeez, yeah. Wow. When I blew up, the Corona Australialis was one hundred and twelve dollars, and it's still way too fucking expensive for anybody to buy. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> I think the biggest impact I've had on the market, and it's such a niche item, so it's not really that big a deal, but is the um, the, um, the Miami Knights Danger when oh, no when it was given Come on. <laughs> when it was Tell given me. to me as a gift back in like 2013 or something. Um, uh, I remember looking it up just because like it was given as a gift, and I was like, oh, how much does this guy spend on this? Uh, and it was like 80 bucks, um, and I was like, oh, that's pretty good. It's pretty good and usual. And now. And then, and then I want to make a video where um, I give all of. I, I'm gonna go and like either borrow or buy um, like recreations of my loadout, like legitimate like recreations. Like I want to get like um, like th four or five Miami Knights Dangers, mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna hand them out to all my friends, and we're gonna join. We're gonna six stack pubs and run around as Uncle Dane <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> Um, I think so you that's an idea one that I've had for a while, and so in the meantime, I've kind of like been trying to find people who are selling them. And man, uh, the I only have bought one so far. I think it's the only one I'm gonna buy because it's like really expensive. Uh, I, I think bought it for like four hundred fifty dollars. It's ridiculous. Wow. Like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, I missed when this was eighty. Yeah. I think I know like a slight solution. All right. You buy a disco beatdown one instead, <laughs> right? Close and then just go like <laughs> that would instead be of like I discount Dave. To, to yeah, have, just make up like, like a slightly them. off brand. Yeah, the one <laughs> guy who has the disco beatdown, and we're just like, there's something odd about that one. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with that one. <laughs> no we don't talk about that guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually a really good idea. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and do that. Also, because it would be easier to find. <laughs> there's a guy that yeah, plays on the Virginia servers, which is the servers I get put on. And I always see this guy who always has the Uncle Dane cosplay with the disco beatdown. And every time I go, yeah. wait, is that? And I go, oh, wait, no. Yeah. It's, it's not him. <laughs> Probably I like Disco B10 too. a lot. I, I probably would have picked that one also. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. I'm actually, I'm actually curious. Uh, has the save TF2 thing like uh, have Uncle Topia servers died off at all? Or are they still going pretty strong? So what happened after uh, the save TF2 movement? Um, uh, I actually asked my admin about it um, because I, it's not something I like really paid attention to, and he's more in the know about that kind of thing. But I asked him. Mm -hmm. I was like, the week that it happened, I was like, so. Uncle Topia servers are they like dead now? <laughs> uh, and they were, and they said that the, it dropped off about fifty percent in like mm. the on the worst and like the worst spike. But I think um, we've kind of since bounced back a little bit. I think people, <laughs> I want to think that people who have been playing on Uncle Uncle Topia because of the bot thing went to Uncle Topia because there was no bots, and then they got mm. used to playing there. And then when they went back to casual, they were like, oh, good, no bots. And then they get hit with a random crit. Yeah, and then they go back. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, back to <laughs> oh, fuck, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I want to say that that happens because uh, a lot of people have come back. I think that we overall kind of since then maybe lost like 30% of our player mm. base. But that's expected, and honestly, I'm happy about it. I, I think that um, honestly, like <laughs> – the thing about my servers is I don't make any money from it. I've never have. I've always been in the hole with it, and I am fine with it. And um, the more people play on it, uh, the more money I lose. So it's actually better for casual mode to be playable than not playable You're for me. You're excited as for opposed your to business to go like, down. Yeah, my admin is always very entertained by people who um, have conspiracy theories about Uncle Topia being like the the reason bots exist, or or like the reason why I didn't participate in Save TF2 is because I didn't want to Save TF2 because <laughs> I wanted people to play on my servers. Um, but that's not the case at all. I actually, I actually 
it, it kind of stresses me out whenever my servers are full 100 percent of the time because i'm like should i buy more i mean like people <laughs> are flooding these things like <laughs> i feel bad so um yeah the more the less people that play on my servers i'm fine with it i actually encourage it so that i don't have to pay as much money yeah. but um all at the same time i'm happy to do it i like tf2 and i want to support the mm-hmm. community as much as i can you hear that, everybody? If you want to help Uncle Dane, stop playing on Uncle Topia. Stop playing unsubscribe it. from his channel. Just stop stop no, watching no, no, his no, no, videos. No, 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 no. If you like playing on Uncle Topia and you don't want me to, to you know, suffer financially as much, then you can just watch my videos or you can subscribe to the Patreon and it doesn't really do anything except just help us. So, I mean, you could do that as well. That's the only thing that we really have going as far as like wow he's too. only in it for the yeah, money so. i see how it oh is. wow the only right. so <laughs> Patreon. wow wow but yeah, there's definitely been time like there's definitely merit to uncle topia servers because there's been times where i've just been in casual and i get random crit i'm like okay i'm done with this <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it definitely happens yeah. to me as well like um mm. i've been playing kind of on and off casual and uh, like both casual and uncle topia and i always switch to uncle topia after I get random crit for like the third time in the like if my third death in a row is due to random crit that's when I'm like all right it's <laughs> Uncle Topia time three strikes <laughs> and you're out three yeah, yeah. it's a three yeah. strike rule it's pretty consistent so do you ever play using your real name and not an alias I feel like I have in the past but nobody ever really believes it there's always like one person who is like oh a real Uncle Dane I think it's gotten to the point where it's like even if I didn't alias people wouldn't believe it was me anyway <laughs> And, Do people um, target you when you don't alias? They used to. Honestly, I just I've gotten so used to not doing it that I just um, I'm I'm. It's like a habit now. Um, it's not like I, I mean I could just stop, but I don't really care either way. <laughs> um, they used to though, and it's it's like on both ends too. It's like I get targeted, and also people on my team like stop playing the game and they stand in front of me yeah. and try and get a high five or a picture oh or they just yeah. heal, they heal me and say yeah. like five medics follow me around. And it's like, it changes the game. And, um, I don't really like that. Not only for my sake, but other players sake. It's like, imagine you are like got off work and you're just like, I have time for one game of TF2. I hope it's good. And then uncle Dane is there and he's like ruining the, the entire match. <laughs> yeah. He's like turning the entire, entire team friendly. And like, you're like, God damn it. That would be during face. Do you ever, uh, because, like uh, you ever yell at the medics? Away with not having an yes. <laughs> that would be during face it when, um, face it was around. Cause you can't alias in that. And, uh, I guess I got in a game with big Joey. This is back before I even knew who Big Joey was, and everybody in the damn server was like, "Oh my God, it's Big Joey Slapnuts!" I'm like, "Oh no, this is gonna be yeah, a bad yeah. game." And they just pocketed him, and then we lost. We got fucking rolled. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, face it was a, the similar experience for me because I couldn't alias, and um, yeah. it would always Ooh. end up like that. It's terrible, I hope that man. they fix it. I fix it. I hope they fix Face It because it really had a lot of potential, but then they just kind of didn't. They didn't follow up with it, you know. I'll say this. I'll say this because I have some inside information. All right, I'll say this. Oh, you talked to short. Ooh. Something's coming. <laughs> uh, something big. They they are working on something, and it's very very different from what it is now. And, uh, and I'm, really I'm very confident at this time because uh, the first time that they they did the face it thing, the people who designed it weren't TF2 players, and this mm. time well, the people who are designing it are TF2 players, and they're okay. very yeah. they're TF2 players that you know and love and they will do right by face it if it's uh, me. if it all goes well guys it's the what it's, 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 it's the what the yeah. he's the ceo <laughs> face it and he paid me to say that he paid me ten thousand dollars in <laughs> cash to say this he donated to his and, page gave oh. him now the, show up the mouse pads he, i also paid you ten thousand for the mouse pads Thank he you. gave him the frank ocean cock and diamond <laughs> ring we all know it <laughs> <laughs> payment for that <laughs> under the table payments here nobody i think another issue with face it though is that it's such a corporate entity like if you say it's different now yes. like i know they're well it is it's going to be different because they more ch- more casual. relinquished that corporate kind of i think yeah. that they were told repeatedly like what went wrong with it and they're like okay fair yeah. enough and they but went like, out of their way to hire people who uh because i remember right uh there. can you say during the save tf2 do- hashtag event because short obviously kind of was like the main face around right that yeah he was yeah. saying to, and we were there was like a discord server set up while everybody like planned out what was going to happen he was like i'm going to see if i can make a safe tf2 thing on the face it thing and then the company came back to him and said we don't want to do that oh, because yeah, they, it might, the yeah, they just said don't do that 
yeah, don't do that because there might be backlash because people might play the game and support us, yeah, exactly. which just seems yeah, very like, odd. Oh, it's like Uncle Tolkien it's where they don't want the song to die. Backwards ass concept. Yeah, than Uncle Dane and Dane I don't understand it too. You know, yeah. <laughs> do you, uh, can you say for Face It? Are they gonna go towards more competitive or casual? Do you think? A casual, hundred yeah. percent. But also that I mean, they want to make it like a good alternative to queuing for anything in TF2 yeah. is what their plan is. Uh, whether that is able to be done or not is like kind of up in the air because there's so many logistical issues with that. And I would say that the main issue that Face It had before wasn't necessarily their fault. It's just the way that their infrastructure was designed. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. if you think about Face It, it's like mostly designed they, for CSGO and the way that CSGO saying. is is designed is very different from the way that casual tf2 is they kind of just so. took the csgo system and it just dropped on tf2 yeah, exactly like it doesn't thinking work it would change well. anything i liked yeah. their system where they had like uh you could earn points by doing different things than buy weapons with that or whatever i think that's really mm-hmm. cool and they should keep doing mm-hmm. that I, I remember initially they were gonna have it like you could get more points from doing competitive or something but they never really followed through with competitive I honestly mm-hmm. really wanted them to be like a main source of like you could just go in and casually play competitive in like those formats. I and would I like thought that, that as would, well. Yeah, I would. I would feel like that would that could be face it. You know, like they don't need to do casual anymore, especially because mm-hmm. there's a lot of competition for casual servers, yeah. and people already kind of have the bad vibes from face it. But if they, I don't know. I'll have to see what they have. I think enough time has passed, and enough time definitely will have passed yeah. by the time that they are able to like release what they've been working on. But. Um, I'm, I think that I'm willing to give any of these projects a chance when they pop up, and I think everybody else kind of feels the same way. I mean, it's just something new in TF2, and yeah, and that's mm. the main reason why people even tried Face to begin with when it first launched. So the only reason yeah. I didn't play Face it as much is because it doesn't work with Shadow Play, and if mm. if a funny moment oh, happens yeah. and Shadow Play isn't there to record it, did it even happen? If there's a funny yeah, ragdoll, if, <laughs> if there's a funny ragdoll and Shadow Play isn't there to record, is there it, any it way? Happen. Can you make a video? Can you? You yeah, could can record you demos. Big, that was the way that I was uh, uh, having a safety net for. Uh, can you do us a favor, Dan, and just like go to Face It and make sure that you can use Nvidia? Uh, oh, <laughs> at all? Well, that's slide, more slide to do. Like that's more under. to do with their. That's more with their anti-cheat. So I mean, you'd have to talk yeah. to their anti-cheat team, and they. Just, they. I don't know what they're. Just let to. me yeah. cheat. Just put SV cheats one in the. Co- I'm begging you, please. <laughs> I won't that. abuse it. <laughs> I swear to God, I am a trustworthy person. Is, I do it not is cheat. That, that an- their anti-cheat flags that. This, this question is by Mayonade. <laughs> um, what will you do after TF2 dies? Slash, what will you be doing if TF2 didn't exist? Like, if TF2 got deleted actually... tomorrow, then I would not be phased. I, talk about <laughs> TF2. I would, be, I, I would yeah. be upset that my favorite game, my favorite video game is gone, and I can't play my favorite video. If I physically couldn't play my favorite video game, because every time I join a server, there's no one there, then uh, that would that would be sad. What would I do? I would I would continue doing the other things that I do. <laughs> I I don't I I don't just play TF2 and edit TF2 videos as you can see by my 2 month to 3 month long uh like absence in between uploads. Yeah. Like I have other projects that I work on. Like I work with Ian Idubs uh on things where we j- actually just got long with got done working on a long two week long shoot for a project that we're uploading ah, to his channel yeah. in a couple months. I'm going to be editing that soon. Um, well, so do you guys like uh, you guys are close to each other that you can record and stuff like huh? that? What? You guys uh you guys are close to each other like in person so you can record and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. I'm Seattle. currently sitting in an office that he rents that I go to every day to work on things like it's down oh, the street from my house oh that's so. cool interesting i was thinking yeah, yeah. um i don't know if this maybe this may be like tmi but when it came to the sam hyde video was that because like you just didn't guys didn't want to upload it or was it just like a a product I, <laughs> of not being oh, able to finish it oh i would i just i feel really bad about that actually i'm glad that you bring that up the i feel kind of uh guilty for that narrative being even existing because i just was very lazy and didn't work on it for like four or five months after it got filmed <laughs> um it's not, it's not necessarily lazy it's just that i procrastinated working on it because i didn't think that there was like a <laughs> time lazy. limit to just... uploading it but apparently sam hyde did and um so <laughs> when and there was just like he had he's horrible at communication and so like he didn't think to ask ian if he was still going to put it out <laughs> he, just he just assumed that, that it wasn't coming out. that because it hadn't been uploaded in like 
six months or something that it wasn't getting uploaded at all uh and so he decided to to like undercut it with his own documentary uh and so after that came out i was like god damn it because i was already like um like maybe like halfway through it halfway mm-hmm. through working on it and i was like oh, okay well now i gotta make sure that i get it out sooner or else people are gonna fucking think that and they did eventually think that anyway. So yeah. Yeah. whatever. Oh, hide you silly goober! He is a silly goober. He's a goofy goober. He's a goofy. When it all goober. comes down to it. Um, <laughs> goofy and, goober. Uh, I honestly, I, I used, to, I, I'm, I'm still a fan of Sam Hyde's comedy. I love Sam Hyde's videos, uh, nice. and I, I love Million Dollar Extreme, and I love uh, World Peace, his show. Uh, it's genuinely very funny to me. Um, but Sam Hyde is like worn out his welcome for me. Not only because I've just worked on that video with uh, Ian on him, but also just because of his behavior surrounding that. He's just kind of like, uh, I don't know, he's like a big baby. It's a, it's a really yeah. it's annoying. It's, it's kind of really like annoying. a <laughs> kind of like a don't meet your heroes moment. Sure. Kind of like I'm having with you right now because you won't, you know, yeah. you're just being horribly offensive to all of and us. And you're not buying if his we mouse were in, <laughs> If we were in real life, I wouldn't even make eye contact with you. I would yeah. just look at the ground and speak to you because I, I wouldn't find you worthy. You wouldn't go down attention. to our level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, No, but I feel like it, it's immature and it's brash and it was, it was dumb, but like that's just how Sam Hyde is. I it is like. him. It is yeah. him. It makes sense. Yeah. But it is still a disappointing because in my mind, I always thought of him as like, um, a comedian who just happens to never turn his comedian uh, ness off, and that's yeah. generally true. But it gets to a point where it's like a lot of the things that I always took uh, as um, like him being an asshole just for the joke of it. Uh, now I feel like I'm second. No, he's guessing just an it. asshole. <laughs> yeah, I'm second guessing <laughs> yeah. it a little bit because I was like, maybe he's just an asshole. There's no irony Could here. Be, you know? He's yeah. an asshole. <laughs> and he uses that. I mean, like that's a whole point of, that we make in the documentary as well, which is that. You know, you can be an asshole as a joke, but it also just makes it easier for you to like, get away with being was, an asshole for real. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So what but, I had heard, and obviously take my word with a grain of salt, as I'm not oh, directly involved in the process in any way. Um, I had heard that uh, one of the main reasons that iDubs had stopped working on the podcast in the first place, the podcast, the uh, the documentary is because he didn't get the information that he wanted, that he was kind of going into it with an expectation of uh, pulling back the curtain <laughs> on Sam Hyde, and Sam Hyde didn't really want to, and uh, he just didn't, he wasn't enthused about the project anymore, uh, but was that is that, like, real at all? Is that... No, no, I would say um, after he came back from uh, New Hampshire, wait, where, where was he? Rhode Island. Um, <laughs> wait... Was it Roland? <laughs> Wait, wherever he lives. Wait. After he came back, and, Go ahead. and and we were going over the footage, we were ecstatic. We were like, "This is awesome! This turned out like way better than we could have imagined." Because it's like he turned the whole thing around on Ian, and and like there's this great like twist in the documentary, which I don't think we've ever had before. Mm-hmm. So we were excited about it. It's just that um, I took my time editing it when I shouldn't have, and that created a, a, a I don't know a narrative especially with Sam Hyde's audience who just don't like Ian uh, for it to seem like Ian was embarrassed or something about it. We're flipping the um, script on the Chuck on Us podcast. Let's get it. Yeah, we're setting the narrative straight. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. It's good to get it out. I, I, I do think that the only reason Ian doesn't, like, uh, make that clear on his own is because he just doesn't want to, like, give Sam Hyde any more airtime. It's just kind of over and done with and i think that honestly we're kind of okay with whatever narrative people want to draw i think it's pretty clear in the documentary i don't think that it's poorly communicated what happened i think that people who are frankly kind of schizophrenic like to <laughs> like draw conclusions that aren't yeah. there uh so uh, I, there's not That's really like first hand there's not really that. anything that we could have done differently I think besides just put it out earlier so that Sam Hyde wouldn't freak out. Yeah, or I think I think I think by the time Sam Hyde released that, like the narrative was already made, and no matter what. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but at the end of the day, I am very proud of that documentary. I honestly it think great. it's probably one of the most well edited videos I've ever made, mm-hmm. and uh, I am glad that I made it because I had been I had been a fan of Sam Hyde since before I had even started p- making TF2 videos. So <laughs> it's like uh, it was like a cool dream project almost. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it was is cool and exciting, and we're currently trying to figure out who to do the documentary uh, documentary on next. Me, I heard me, of this, me, I heard of this oh, guy me, called me. the What. He makes mouse pads. 
Yeah, I make the best crazy mouse heads. stuff. <laughs> that is kind of insane, and like he's like a kooky character. So that yeah, would be cool. I also kind of hear a wacky he has this sort of hobby where he takes like he takes Metal one of the rods. Uh, yeah. I don't think this part's important, guys. <laughs> he takes, he takes one of the rods and he go on. See, this is the research. You uh, need to see. Hmm. Can't wait I, to have my dubs on the podcast to talk about sounding for an hour. Do you think Imagine? Soundsmith yeah. likes sounding? <laughs> Wait, do you think do you think Soundsmith <laughs> likes sounding? Yeah. Well, no, well, no, no. Soundsmith is the most straight edge person I know. How do you think he's, he got his he, name? He likes sounding. He doesn't his even name is Smith. He's the he Smith. Like, every time it. I'm in a, <laughs> we're, I'm in a, like a group uh, Discord with him and like Gene and a bunch of other people. Anytime that we start like going off and making like jokes that are like I don't know uh, maybe out of pocket. Edgy. Yeah, like uh, yeah. Funny. He always like deafens <laughs> himself. It's really cute. Oh. <laughs> he's like, I can't hear this. It's like he's puts in his, he's putting his. I feel like I feel really bad. bad. I feel like if we, uh, <laughs> if we invited him on here, like by some chance we get contact with him, and then we just talk about sounding for All the right, next hour. Yeah. I feel. Th- I feel like every time chuckle do. uncomfortably and probably try and change the subject. Uh, I, I feel, feel like every time podcast. he makes a joke, he turns it around and makes sure like his mom thinks it's okay for him to say it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I think I, I, I uh, want to say he was like raised uh, religiously, or I don't know. He's mm. he's. He's just a good little boy. I don't have a problem. He goes yeah. to Uber. So this question yeah. is by Mayonade. Uh, oh wait, no, I just asked that one. Oh, okay. Shit. Should we do, this we do like a quick oh. round? We can go like yeah, a okay. Questions quick, too. quick, yeah. rapid fire Twitter questions from Twitter.com slash Chuckle Notaries. Please follow us. Uh, no. words or less answers, by no. the way. Shut okay, the fuck this up. one's by Not Sam G. What's one thing you change about TF2? Um, ugh, my like, time's ticking. Like the balance of the game. Remember, twenty bucks buff the what high balance. End. What balance? I would make engineer be more of like a healing class than a than like a defense class. Like I would buff his dispenser mm. like crazy. His dispenser sucks right now. I mean, it's it's nice, but it stands it stands in one spot and doesn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Well, it's it's good walk if around and just combine. Yeah, yeah any, combine just the dispenser anything. in the uh, the sentry so the dispenser can defend I'm di- itself. I, yeah, I mean, I'm di- that would like a mecha suck, actually. Yeah, <laughs> if, a, if a sentry could just auto heal itself, that would fucking suck. Um, <laughs> no, no, I, I, I do think that it would just make engineer. I, I just want there to be like an alternative to playing medic because it sucks that medic is so impactful that if you don't have a medic and the other team has a medic, then you probably lose. Mm. It sucks. Yeah. Mm. What would you feel about if they re-added the uh, quote unquote cut weapon? Uh, the cut PDA engineer had, which allowed him to build two mini dispensers. I'm mad that that didn't happen because I think that that would be great. Uh, mini dispenser sounds awesome. I would just spam those things everywhere, man. I don't think I know why they broke it. All right, yeah. I've uh, who, knows? who knows? I've got a question from Masa T. Uh, what is your favorite Breaking Bad episode? The Fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fly. Yeah. 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 Ryan Johnson's a genius. No. Uh, Rob. Oh. Honestly, honestly, I do think that Ryan Johnson's. A, it's funny that Ryan Johnson has both the highest rated episode and the lowest rated episode of Breaking Bad. The lowest <laughs> one being the Fly because it's just, it's Walter White it's being like a. Be it's a like him being Mister. It's him Mister Magooing like walking around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like a. It's like a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Um, but. Uh, Ozzy Mendez is a, is genius. I love it. Oh yeah, incredible it episode. The have best, you been into a? Uh, have you gone into Better Call Saul? Or? Yeah, yeah, I'm oh, fully yeah. caught up. Oh, don't God. say you've seen it. Isn't it crazy don't when Tim it. Wexler no, dies no, in no, season yeah. six, episode seven? Damn it. It's crazy how Better Call Saul. Uh, there's an episode where <laughs> where where um, he kisses Mike open mouth on the lips. He dies. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot <laughs> about that. After the yeah. desert, when like they're going in the desert and. Mike like drinks some water. He's like, "Give me some of that, baby." <laughs> yeah. Come yeah, here. Sound effect for that episode. When that was the, was the moment. That was the moment Jimmy McGill. That was the moment Jimmy McGill became. <laughs> this is slipping Jimmy. Became. Slipping Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> slipping down his Saul pants. Goodman. You know, that's how it happened. Yeah. So um, which what what uh, is the kid named Finger? Like which kid is that? <laughs> okay, Finger. So, <laughs> I think that's just the nickname that they gave Mike, isn't it? It was because yeah, um, he looks like a he looks kind of like a finger. I looked it up. It's because people were people were um putting Breaking Bad like, in anime memes, and then mm. one of the anime memes was a kid uh, named uh, Finger. No, no not really? even that. There's yeah, like they the pointed oh, no, no, to so that guy that from Breaking Bad. It's like I know that guy. They pointed him with his finger. There and is a part. Took it off from there. I was watching Saul, and at one point, like. A, Jimmy puts his hands up. This is right in the beginning of the like show. Mm-hmm. Jimmy like puts yeah, his yeah. hands on Mike. He tries to beat him up, and then uh, the detectives are like, 
you didn't lay a hand on our guy. And he says, finger. And he said, finger. 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 <laughs> and I started laughing oh. so loud. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. That no, makes but sense. Yeah, I think the original is because yeah. uh, there was like, uh, there's the Breaking Bad and anime memes. And then there was one anime meme where it was like, uh, the teacher at class were finger painting today and it was like kid named painting but then the guy changed it to make it kid even stupider and did kid named <laughs> finger <laughs> yeah <laughs> and that just went yeah the they made a mic I don't, mic I don't know it. it's funny though um okay this one's by Mr. Taco 1111 uh, for Dane why do you come on smaller channels podcast example among us podcast oh okay uh, why do you think <laughs> other larger creators do not uh, what do you mean? You guys had a bunch of other people on here, like uh, Shork and. Uh, I feel like this well, is not a like, good question for here, us. Like, shit. Oh, I don't know <laughs> because I I don't have a problem talking to strangers and um, people who reach out to me to do that. I usually say yes. I don't know. It's not. I'm not as um, unapproachable. I I think I said this in your Among Us podcast. It's like when people ask me to do things, usually I'll say yes because I. I remember that, yeah. Uh, the board <laughs> I think they're just, archetype. I think they're just worried about, like, if they say no, fucking career. You know, Your like, career my idol. No one has to know. Yeah. No one has to say, know if they, if they say, say yeah. no, you'll just summon all yeah. the people on Twitter. And attack them, yeah. And besides, I, I wouldn't even say no. That's too mean. I would just ignore them. Yeah, I would say, them. fuck off, you idiot. No, but I would s- yeah, I don't know. If they say, hey, can, can you come on the podcast? And you're like, you have the like, got- audacity to ask me, the king, for a question. And you summon <laughs> it's gotta all be like 700,000 say- of your subscribers to go send them death threats. That's that's YouTubers after they hit 100k. Yeah. I wouldn't. I think happens. it's just like, if you have an idea for a video that relies on like the help of somebody bigger than you, and they say, like, no, right? Like, what are you going to do? Right? Like, oh, damn. Yeah. God, show it. must go on. I had that happen to me. I asked big. I asked, like, the only free heavy maids in existence for help, and they said, fuck off. I was like, okay. <laughs> they won't be in the video, I guess. All right. Like, <laughs> fuck me. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like I. Uh, I, I if you uh, look at it, it like I don't know if you went and watched random um, videos, then you'd probably find my voice cu- coming up in random like ones because more and more occasionally yeah. someone will DM me and say, "Hey, can you send me a like a voice clip of you for ten seconds?" And you say, "Wait a minute, that's not right," or something, oh, and then I'll put yeah. it in my video. It's like a cameo, and I'm like, "Yeah, that's like that I literally mind. takes twenty seconds to do." Here you go, <laughs> and and. And I'll literally not even know what video it went in. I, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't follow up on it. I was gonna ask you actually because I was working on a video about like turtling engineer and why it's like silly. And I was gonna say something yeah, yeah. along the lines of Uncle Shane would be disappointed. And then I was gonna. Ask, I wanted you to like get you to just be like, "Hi, I'm Uncle Shane, and I'm disappointed." Or something yeah. like, really dumb. Good bit. Funny sure. bit. Hilarious that would be bit. Fire. Yeah. Wow. I'll do that. that. A guy actually um, here. Let me find it. I'm actually quite proud of what I came up with. A guy. A, uh, Richter, ty- Richter, Richter time, overtime. Yeah, 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 he was talking yeah. about this. He was talking. He's about mentioned this. it yeah. uh, so, several, several times. Richter overtime yes. messaged me and said, uh, "Well, for one, I went on his like podcast where he like MGE's people, mm-hmm. um, but after that, he was like, hey, do you want to like do a verse in a song?'" And I was like, "Well, that's a little harder, but I'll see what I can come up with." And I wrote and recorded it in like two hours, and I sent oh, it to wow. him. That was in two hours. He, and then oh, later, yeah, and then later he sent me the video, and I was like, "That's awesome." I mean, like, I like being a part of projects like that. So it's mm-hmm. like, I remember uh, I asked him know. recently because he was going to be on a podcast, and he he fucking lost his audio. But I asked him, I'm like, with that song, um, did he write the lyrics? And he's like, "No, Uncle Dane just wrote it." Like, and he was so chill with it; he wrote it to make it fit exactly. And I'm like, "That's so cool nice. how you just did that." Yeah. Yes. You ever I thought it was a, a lot of fun. Career? I've considered it. <laughs> I'm not a musician. <laughs> That's the only the only thing keeping me from a music career is the fact that I don't know how to read music. I am tone deaf and I don't know how to make music. Hey man, AJR yes. exists. <laughs> nah. What is it? Yes, AJR, the though. greatest band it's, ever. No. Okay. Okay. No. Play, no, play oh, a little okay, snippet all right, of Thirsty all right, don't. by AJR. I don't. F- what is this? I don't even fucking know. AJR's a band. I'll take your word for it. Oh, I, I love AJR. Know. Unironically, band but with really the shit. loosest definition ever. They're really shit. <laughs> so me and uh, me and Dave. Me and look. So there's like the average fucking response of me. Oh, what do you like to do? Anytime you guys talk about something. something. Yeah, you want to come on the Chuckle Nuts album? Oh my god. <laughs> if you guys make a Chuckle Nuts like we're unironically song, then I'll, making an album. Then I'll do it. What do you mean unironically? No, this is are. not in the we're contract. Un- we're making an album. It's in the contract. Space. We've oh talked about God. this. This is news to me. Oh, yeah, space be like, I don't read anything. I'm space guy. 
I fucking listen. Fan. You want my? Here's my I'm honest reaction. This is like everybody's reaction. No, check general. This is everybody's reaction to fucking me right there in general. The video. <laughs> 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 That's what I expect. But are you ever gonna make a? Are you gonna make a second Uncle Dane album? I I love the first one so much. I can't wait for. Can you make two? two. I have I have made a second one. Me too. So I did. Oh wait. Oh sorry. Another one. Will we make another a third, one? A, a follow up. <laughs> yeah, probably eventually. I have a, a document on my Google Docs just called. It's called "If I Make Another Album." That's the title of it. <laughs> and I put a bunch of like song titles because occasionally like it'll just come to mind or something or just like it makes me laugh too hard uh, one that i just recently wrote down because it made me laugh really hard was you ever heard that song uh fireflies by owl city yes yeah. no <laughs> you would not believe your <laughs> eyes so i kept going you fireflies. would not believe your eyes if there were a hundred spies <laughs> or, something, <laughs> or, or something like that where it's just like my whole team is spying to sap or, my so, century, century. <laughs> yeah yeah i it was making me laugh really hard so i wrote it down and th- there are a bunch of things like that on this list and so eventually i think maybe if i get bored or if i have a reason to i'll just go through that list and start writing things um but uh i've only written a few of them and I haven't recorded any of them, uh, so it is possible to do. It's just that I've I've always been kind of like reluctant about it because I feel like the joke was made uh, with those albums, and uh, the joke mm. would not be as funny if. But I it's did not it even again. a joke. It's like genuinely <laughs> it's like just listenable good. music. I just like like it's, them. Do they do uh, let's, well? Uh, they, uh, well, do you they guys are. Like ma- I'm turning pink. You guys are making me freaking blush. But, I mean, we're so yeah. starstruck by you. We yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking. Just be your yes I wouldn't. Man. I wouldn't take their. I wouldn't take their taste and music quality to that high of a standard, Dane. I'm gonna be honest. Wait, wait. So wait, I, I don't know if that was a backhanded compliment or what. what, what were well, you I like to say? AJR, so my my opinion <laughs> yeah. doesn't matter. But <laughs> yeah. No, um, no, but genuinely, I think a lot of people, a lot of people don't even see it as a joke because you know they listen to the entire goddamn album. They're like, oh man, this is actually like good shit. Yeah. Do people like listen to that? Like, mm-hmm. is it, does it do well in like views compared to your other videos? No, actually, um, not on. I don't know, actually. I haven't really noticed the views on the YouTube video, but on Spotify, I... Um, 17,000 Spotify s- listeners. Spotify sends me, like, uh, like 100 bucks every once in a while. I'm like, what? Oh, people are w- listening to my songs on Spotify. <laughs> they okay. go hard, dude. Uh, yeah. Uh, wow. So I, I you know, at least... At least your voice is getting out on Spotify through that and not on the fucking podcast. Nobody listens to it on Spotify. There's an Uncle we have a few Dane thousand radio. listeners, actually. We have a few thousand listeners. <laughs> Oh, really? oh, actually, that's that's not too bad. Yeah. All right, uh, I have one from oh, yeah. Camboni Boo. Um, have you ever wanted to make content for other classes, and if so, have you ever had to stop because of your viewer base? Um, I did have a video, like kind of almost all the way written or con- conceived or whatever, um, about. Uh, it was called like uh, underrated um, alternative loadouts for other classes besides engineer that wasn't the actual title but that's the concept Pending title. Like, like yeah, right there. yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> and so it was things like hybrid knight and um like the the uh cleaner's carbine with the the bushwalk on knife and stuff it sounds like, like the art of the subclass <laughs> yeah exactly like and i think the main reason why i didn't make it is because people beat me to it you know, fucking El so. Max. So I hate that guy. Yeah, come on. Yeah. I feel like, I, like I, he would have done it better for than me anyway. He lives in the but future. I, I'm not opposed to it. I'm not opposed to it. I, I've considered making. Um, I don't know. I, I think maybe somebody might have already done this, but recently um, I've really been obsessed with uh, playing uh, shotgun on heavy. Oh, not necessarily no. shotgun, but but the um, but the uh, the family business yes and not and not using it not using it as like a fat scout gimmick actually using it intentionally like where if i'm repositioning i just have it out and if somebody jumps me i can just blast them like it's so it's so i don't i'm not always relying on my really slow rev up time yeah um and it's really nice it's like if i want to be moving if i'm retreating or going forward and i want to do damage then i have that option but if i want to be kind of like in one spot and be doing damage then i just switch yeah, to the that's, that's, a, that's a huge coincidence because i'm actually making a video right now on that exact same premise like oh it's awesome okay great to actually use the shotgun <laughs> i'll just throw out my fucking script yeah great the what yeah no 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 <laughs> I, just, I wasn't writing it i was just like that would yeah. be a cool thing Way to, to copy yeah. uncle dane the what man 
Oh, yeah. great. I, I've off, only been doing it for like two days. So. <laughs> first, first yeah. I copied on Maxo's video a day after he uploaded it. Now I'm doing it to Dane before he even said his idea. <laughs> I'm Maybe just Richter stealing everyone's right. ideas. Richter was right but on it Twitter. Is, it, <laughs> it is, yeah, but it is it is kind of like um, it's not. I, I'm not stopped necessarily by my viewers. I'm just stopped by other YouTubers making those videos anyway. Like, and yeah. I'd rather they do it than me, to be honest, because I have my niche and I want other people to, you know, have their videos that they make too. I don't mm -hmm. want to like no, you take, take all the over ideas the or entire platform. Just take everyone's ideas. Yeah, exactly. I, here's the thing. <laughs> if I made videos about other classes, then I, I would be the only YouTuber worth watching, and that's not fair because <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. the best. Yeah, you just take and everyone's nobody would audience. have any reason to watch anyone else. Yeah, so, that's I the mean, only reason. Yeah, <laughs> right now there are currently eight <laughs> slots open. I think, well, no, seven because Sal Smith plays soldiers, but seven slots open for like actually watchable YouTubers. Just one, one for each other class. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that's fucked yeah. up. <laughs> no, no, like for, wow, for class-based YouTubers. <laughs> uh, what uh, are? I mean, I can only ever. I can really only think of one other, like, highly dedicated class only youtuber and that's theory why with medic mm -hmm. i mean you say area seven sort of yeah, area seven, seven right? kind of or he's kind of given up on that, that right? I, I yeah. feel like he's just a part of the old head or king raja oh my god yeah. king yeah. raja <laughs> he's gone isn't he are people even gonna know who that is my, yeah so old headed barely oh my yeah god. barely that's a blast from the past yeah. it really is it's like saying musuk or something <laughs> people know who that guy is King Ro well, King people Rojo. know who he is, but I'm just saying, like in terms of like TF2, like yeah, people be he's like, still got on the safe TF2 thing, right? He did. Uh, he was he like did. one he of the sweets. He was part of it. Hashtag C Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah, like I'm sure he would. <laughs> he would probably play the game and come back to it. Like, Elon Musk also, I think, tweeted it. about it. Elon Musk tweeted about it. No fucking way. Safe Fortnite. <laughs> 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 no, still okay, plays TF2 on his second watch. channel sometimes. Okay, this like lightly irritated me, but people started like a save Minecraft hashtag, and like I get like there is the <laughs> whole there is the whole um whatever with banning players from multiplayer from reporting or whatever. But I just felt like it was kind of petty. No, our game like, got updated. People oh. just started co people started complaining about the actual update too, just because people were doing save Minecraft instead of just the uh, censorship or whatever that Mojang was doing. People are never happy, man. You, you don't want you. So it, it, don't get an update. It, you're pissed. You get an update. You're pissed. It's just like, oh my god. Yeah, especially that one guy who uh, said he was, has he eaten his belt yet. Oh yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that mm, one guy? Yeah. <laughs> this one's this one's from Running Metaphor. Uncle All Dane, right. do you jilk? <laughs> <You're> jilk? <laughs> no. Oh. I, I actually... What is nice. jilking? Are you wow. What's jilking interesting fans? is I, I just... Stretching I it just, out. <laughs> I just found out about that like um, like what two is, years ago when someone made a joke about it. Google can, can it, Can somebody bro? explain jilking so, real quick? So ju I'll explain it. Jilking... <laughs> An exquisite detail, Because I, I just learned this as well. Jilking is where... Yeah, and there you can look up tutorials on YouTube <laughs> on how to do it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Go to r slash jilking. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's where you you pull you basically pull on your cock over and over again for like hours <laughs> to make it longer. What? what? Yeah, yeah, it's like that work? no, it I doesn't. The real question. Yeah. It actually is, it does, <laughs> only one no, way to find out. And that's a try. Well, I guess I, I don't, don't know. know. I guess I don't know for sure. But I heard I heard that it actually doesn't work, and it's just like it's just a scam, really. I don't um, know about. Huh. That, but I do know you? about the grapefruit method. I'm not sure people know what this oh, is. When you're sucking his dick. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a whole what? different thing entirely. When you're sucking Similar. No, no, joking is, joking is not a partner activity. It's uh, do it by yourself in a bathtub it's with to oil. to entertain uh, your partner later. With oil. Yeah, well, I've, uh, theoretically, but I I've, I've, I've heard from everybody who's made jokes about it that it literally doesn't work. It just, like, hurts and it sucks. Well, I'd imagine. <laughs> but, <laughs> but a thing is, I feel like you could trick a bunch of, like, 16, 17-year-old, like, boys in high school to be like, to do my cock isn't big enough. What do I do? And they type in well, how to make dick bigger into Google, and then that comes yeah. up. They got raw yeah, like advertising pills. Yeah, they're like, the natural the way to do it is you pull on your dick repeatedly until it's long. Oh, so this and, is uh, a bad time so I'm to glad that it... unveil my pistol enlargement pills? <laughs> All right, let's just gaslight everyone. De delete everything that says it doesn't You gotta work. make... The, they yeah, junk it off so they can fit the Frank <laughs> Ocean <laughs> cock ring. Just say it works, guys. Like, I can't it works. believe it works. It works. It works. <laughs> I can't believe it works, guys. Our, I will know. Oh my uh, god, it worked. Holy fuck. Our podcast members are slowly getting more and more deranged. We had Shork, who wasn't quite sure. He, he didn't quite <laughs> like sounding. We then had Fishstick, who went along with sounding. And now we have Uncle Dane, who one-upped sounding. 
<laughs> he's, he's a I, I reverse yeah. sounded IRL. Yeah. <laughs> How else am I gonna fit the Frank Ocean cock ring, dude? Yeah. dude come on, think <laughs> about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I got one more by Private Gamer Twenty Three. This says, "Hey, Uncle Dane, what were you thinking? Hi. Agreeing to hi. What were you thinking? Agreeing <laughs> to come on. How how fast can you run? And can you please start running? Thanks and have fun. Sure. Can you please <laughs> start days. running? That sounds like a <laughs> Sure. He just wants to race you. you just, just end the I podcast think, there. I, when I, he's think, like, sure. I think he's wondering. Uh, I think he's wondering why. Why did you decide to come on the <laughs> chuckle cucks, chuckle nuts? We already yeah, answered. Yeah, 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 I kind of already, yeah. Yeah. already kind of answered that question. <laughs> we are a different. Group. Yeah, no, I mean the TLDR. So go answer the thinking? second question. How I fast can you run? It's not like I. I don't know. I I get along with people pretty easily. It's not like I was worried about it. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, like I said before, I didn't do any research, so I don't even know what I was getting into. He's going to even... be up at night staring at the ceiling thinking, what have I fucking done? Oh my god, <laughs> the regret seeping in. I saw the name and I said, Chuckle Nuts Podcast, that's pretty <clears throat> funny, I'll do that. Did anyone, like, tell you about uh, our history? No. <laughs> Not tell <laughs> the best. Warren, but yeah. No, is this as bad? Is that your history? Do you have, like, a history with, like, what? Well, for, for, for the last well, four... Well, we actually, <laughs> we oh, had yeah. Sam Hyde on our podcast. Uh, um... Oh, lucky... <laughs> <laughs> I actually, Wait, I don't know. I've never spoken to the man, so I would love to. Uh, yeah. You know, I would love to. Yeah, like, we, we asked him about uh, the pot. Yeah. We asked him about the episode. He yeah. said, "Yeah, these guys are just such pussies, and they didn't make the. They didn't post it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate them." That's mean Some of him. FBI, to say, I've heard him say way meaner. He said, so. he said, he said worse. <laughs> You pathetic. He fucking, hate, he fucking hates you know, Ian's wife. Like it's really things. pathetic. It's it's like really just I. It's the cringiest shit. Oh, Anissa, yeah, that's cringe. <laughs> it's like to the point he, where like he's genuine, she I fucking think he's genuine breathes, like, dude. He's like he's like oh Andrew Tate for the old age. <laughs> <laughs> he did color yeah, Yoko Ono. Andrew which is Tate funny. in the podcast. <laughs> Yoko that, it, okay, Ono. so that nickname is hilarious okay. to me because when I was like uh, 16 and I got my first girlfriend, all my friends called her Yoko Ono because I wasn't hanging out with them as much anymore. <laughs> and to me, and I literally haven't heard anyone be called that in like 15 years. So like. Uh, to me, it's like a childhood, like uh, like a playground insult, and to hear him <laughs> seriously be saying it is just um, very funny to me. <laughs> I think like, the kids on your playground it's like the are most like childish. Time, then. <laughs> it's the most. They don't even know. They're just like Yoko Ono broke up the Beatles because yeah. she was a woman. She was a woman. I, that's, was not, <laughs> that's not even true, by the way. <laughs> yeah, they hated each other way before. <laughs> and is and to imply that like we're the Beatles. You know, yeah. that's that's really funny. The Beatles of yeah. Sam Hyde have you ever seen that tweet? Where it's like, like, have you ever seen that tweet where it's like, um, these four people have ruined a generation? It's like Max, anything for views. I it's a chuckle nuts. <laughs> <laughs> this this tweet goes viral like every six months, where it's just a picture of them like sitting together. It's like these guys ruined a generation of kids. It's like they're the Beatles. <laughs> chuckle nuts podcast. That's, that's really cringy to me, right? Yeah. I, I can't imagine that being seriously said. Oh my uh, god, but, it, it trends but, like every single time. But you go, uh, honestly, go to any Filthy Frank video and look at the comments. It's like full of people who are just like, oh, five years goes by so fast. What happened? <laughs> I remember this was the golden yeah. age. It's like, uh, to me, the, I don't yeah, know. To me, it's so weird. I, I always just thought of Filthy Frank as like, a guy, some I funny guy. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think he was like a cultural fucking yeah, no, icon. Well, now or, like, he is because now he's landmark. Joji. <laughs> he, yeah. yeah, well, I mean, uh, yeah, and good on him because he makes good music. Yeah, Hell same yeah. yeah. I like Joji. <laughs> <laughs> You've shown your face, right? So people have a uh -huh. chance of recognizing you on this. Do you ever freak out or like fear that happens? Has that ever happened? <laughs> uh, it has happened uh, only once within memory, and it was actually when I was at the hospital getting my freaking kidney stone removed. <laughs> Uh, and you said, the, hey, check the, this the, out. The, the, the fucking the male, the fucking, like, yo, the Uncle male Dan, nurse, like, please I'm not help. even kidding, the yo. male, the male nurse who was like, I was just in my hospital room waiting and the male nurse who was like on his shift was in there and he was just like, Hey, uh, are you like uncle Dane? Oh my God. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I took a on your like, deathbed. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, yeah, he's yeah. Doing the surgery. He's like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen your videos before. And he was pretty chill about it. But the thing that did freak me out was when um i don't remember what was happening but i think he was like uh measuring my wingspan or something i, that's, I yeah. my he wasn't doing that he he was doing something where i i had to stand up very close to him and he was like uh measuring my body or something Are i don't know what he was doing Dane? you know it's like in your ears he's <laughs> no no in, under, his under his breath under under his breath to where i don't think he was intending for me to hear it he kind of goes like this he goes 
Uncle Damien Jumaine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't and at the time, it like really creeped me out, but looking back on it, it's really, really funny, and I'm glad That's I did it. You like, pass out like on morphine out of the sound of Frontier <laughs> Justice. <laughs> that yeah. sounds like right. a scene out of the Max, 50 so, Shades okay, of Grey. Okay, should we wrap it up? All right, man. Well, it's been great yeah. having you. Oh, can we end, oh, yeah. the, uh, yeah. can we end the podcast with a big yeah. announcement? Yes. Okay, of as of Being today, married. it is... Corpse husband's birthday, so I feel like we should all end the episode oh, by yes. Corpse yeah. husband. Oh, I thought we should have happy birthday, Corpse husband. Oh, corpse husband. Wow. Oh my god, his voice is oh, yeah, so sexy corpse and hot. Husband. I want to fuck him. Yeah. Oh, I, thought we were, I don't know I thought who we were the fuck our, this uh, is. No, we're announcing yeah, Corpse husband's birthday. We actually also, have to do well, that. Thank, thank. <laughs> but uh, but corpse also, husband actually tweeted our birthday. Discord. Everybody, get in here right now. Wow. Yeah, uh, remember Twitter too, because we haven't formally introduced it. And we have a Twitter. But it's also Who the Corpse, fuck's husband's, corpse birthday. husband's birthday. Yeah. I don't fucking care. <laughs>